All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And here we go. We are back, and we have no answer still from any Mohammedan in the world. This is a cult which nobody knows what it is about. It's a cult where they are following, but they don't know what they are following. And we prove to you every day the same story. And when you get them in the corner, they lie. Like yesterday, we have an African uh, a Muslim. Uh, he was willing to accept that shaitan is a black person because the white only is the pure. You believe it? You believe it? How converting to Islam can make you deny your own race? Become racist? When we say to him, the prophet said the black dog is the devil. Do you believe it? He said, yes, I agree. And he is an African. Do you believe it? So this cult, not only it's a brainwash cult, it's a filthy drug. Imagine if this statement was said in CNN or Fox News that the black dog is the devil. This person and all the Muslims will go crazy, say this is racism. The Christians, they say racism. And uh, CNN is not a Christian station anyway, neither of Fox News. But as long as the Prophet said so, so it's okay. If I am the one who said so, mean that would be horrible. But the, just say the Prophet says so, even if it's about Pupu, the Pupu will turn honey for them. This is the story, and let us start. Welcome, everybody. And this is the intro again, because today we are going to breathe a lot. And I have my scalp open. In two minutes from now, Muslims can start calling me. Did I say Muslims? No, what Muslims? Muhammadans can start calling me and breathe. And explain to me how Allah, he breathes. Funny, stupid cult, they don't know what they are talking about. And you will see. You will see not a single Muslim can tell us what he's talking about. Not a single Muslim. Look how, how simple the question. Allah, he breathed. He breathed what? Breathe from where? They don't know. Welcome. Please invite your friends and let the Muslims get ready. The breathing of the dragon Allah is going to be exposed. Thank you. Breathing is mentioned in the Quran in many places. Like Allah, when He created Adam, He breathed into Adam. Allah, when He supposedly uh, decided to uh, uh, create Jesus or Isa, He breathed into the vagina of Mary. Sorry to say the word, but this is what the word in the Quran. And then Allah, in chapter 23, verse number 101, it says, فَإِذَا نَفَخَ فِي الصُّورِ When Allah, He... Uh, let us read the translation, so... Who is going to do the nafakh? The Muslim might say to you, the angels, okay, no problem. The angels, they are blowing what? They don't know. You see, they don't know what the angels blowing. You don't know what Allah blowing. Do, do the angels have, uh, you know, what is, what is the angels for them? They don't know. So they are copying from other belief statements. And they don't know what they mean. What they mean. What this breathing mean. Isa in the Quran in chapter 3 verse number 49 Muhammad Abdullah he said he breathed the ruh okay call us so we can love together call us Muhammad Abdullah guys Muhammad Abdullah he said he breathed the ruh <laughs> oh, what a comedy call me call me so we can love you know we need, we need a good love for the morning and for those who they are in Asia, they need a good laugh in the time of Corona. Hello? 
Hello, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. How are you? Good? I'm fine. You are a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. Well, I I said a Christian. I said Muslims only can call me. Okay, I'll uh, respect that. When can I call you then? Uh, when I say Christian can call, then you can call. I'm sorry, say again? When I say Christian can call, then you can call. Hello? Yes, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You are using a vo voice changer? No. I don't know. It sounds like you are, your voice is funny. No. Okay. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Muhammad? Oh, I want to say that hmm. the other day you said Hmm. Like you debated with a Muslim guy, hmm. and he couldn't answer Surah Namak. What uh, you see, we have Chapter a topic. What, why you wanna go back like ten years ago? What about you answer us here? As oh. long you are a person who have answered yesterday. You know? hmm. Yesterday. Oh. Okay, so you wanna he talk about yesterday? Okay, what you wanna Allah, say about yesterday? Allah was within the burning bush. Uh huh. Okay. So you know. That Allah was within the burning bush, and Allah, He talked to Musa salam from the burning bush. Okay, so He was in the in the bush, or He was the bush. He was inside the bush. Okay, so Allah can be inside His creation, then. Yeah, why can't He? Like, okay, that's, that's a wonderful like, answer actually. Here we go. A Muslim finally he says Allah can be inside his creation. So why you Muslims you say that there is no way that God can be inside the flesh of a man? Who say that? Do you Muslims? No, Allah can be wherever he wants to be. Hey, this is not See, this is, is this is this is this is not a true. In the okay, where in the Quran it says Allah he can be wherever he wanna be? Is Allah in the bathroom? No, no, I say that. No, no, what are you saying? Oh my I'm God, asking you. I'm asking. Oh, here we go. You see, you just say the stuff for Allah. So why Allah cannot be in the bathroom? You just said Allah, He can be wherever He wanna be. Why He cannot be in the bathroom? What the, what the problem with between Muslims no, in the bathroom? I used... <laughs> no, I used a metaphorical language. So so, so metaphorical is not true. Then Allah either you say it's true. Either you say he can be everywhere or he Allah. cannot be everywhere. So can Allah be in the bathroom? You said no. And you said Auzu Billah as if we commit a crime. Okay, okay. So Allah cannot be okay. everywhere. Okay. Allah. Okay. Can Allah? Can Allah? Let, let me make it simple. Can Allah be inside Jesus? Now you are making the case too complicated. I am Why not making anything. I'm asking you a question, my friend. Either you say yes or you say no. What complicated? Is it Corona now? So either you say yes, he can be, or you say he cannot. Okay, 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 okay. According to the Holy Quran, hmm. Allah's own work was within the body of Jesus. His own what? Work? It's my friend. Okay, oh, uh, my friend, this is a this is a claim the Muslims they have that Allah He created everything. But this is a claim. Let me tell you something. I am the one who clean who who created the galaxy number seven. Okay, but I have no proof, and you cannot prove me wrong. This is stupid, silly. So you Muslim, you say to me that Allah is the one who created Jesus. You have no proof. Allah cannot create even a mosquito. And the proof is in the Quran. The Quran says it clearly that the the Arab they keep asking Muhammad for a miracle, and Muhammad have not, nothing nothing. And then Allah, he gave him a verse saying, oh, what stop us from sending you miracles because people uh, uh, refuse to believe in it. Uh, but, you know, you, as you know, uh, this is not true. We believe in all the miracles of Jesus. We believe in the, all the miracles of the prophet. So, yes, people believe in miracles and never stop believing in miracles. So when Allah, he says, and we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false. Well, this is a false excuse. You can ask me now, hey, Christian Prince, are you a prophet? I say, no, I'm, no, I am Allah himself. Okay, Christian Prince, can you make a miracle? Uh, I can make a miracle, but you will not believe it anyway, so I will not do it. This is what Allah is saying. So what are you saying? That Prophet Muhammad did not 
do any miracle. That's why. Well, the Quran so says he did not. And my friend, are you saying the Quran is lying? The Quran says we refrain from sending miracles. So what Allah did? He refrained from sending miracles. What he did? He refrained from sending miracles. Like, yeah, we have a miracle from our prophet Muhammad. Well, this is mean the Quran is lying because Allah he said he refrained. We have him. Okay, so Allah is lying. Thank you very much. We have miracle from Prophet Muhammad. Show me the miracle of Muhammad in the Quran. The Quran itself is the miracle. Thank you very much, guys. He just said something very stupid. I'm not I'm calling you stupid, by the way. I'm calling you, I'm, I'm saying what the Quran says because the Quran says that. So if the Quran itself is a stupid, well, this verse here is a stupid then because by making this verse you just made a miracle but yet you are saying we refrain from making miracles it's like i am making hummus and i say to you i refrain from making hummus and my camera is open and i'm teaching you how to make hummus if the quran is a miracle this verse itself is a miracle so how he say we refrain from sending miracles yeah, because it was talking about Jews, like Jews say that. They what Jews? What Jews? Hold on. What Jews? Miracle. What Jews? My friend, you just said the Quran is a miracle. And Allah is saying we refrain from making miracles. So by saying the statement, he made a miracle. But yet he's saying, I refrain from making miracles. So he do he refrain or he's making miracle right now? He refrained. Okay, but he, made, but, he made, but he made the Quran. If the Quran is a miracle and the phrase is phrase saying, we refrain from sending signs only because of the man of former generation. This is a miracle, supposedly. This is a miracle. This is a miracle, supposedly. And this is mean the Quran, the one who made the Quran is a fool because you cannot say I refrain to make miracle, but yet the statement you are saying is a miracle itself. But our Muslim imams, they say that the Quran is a miracle, and my, I, my friend, I heard from your, them, I'm your, not your, inventing your, anything. Your, your Muslim imams is my comedy toys. What imam? Here we go, we have Quran. You are, are, you, are you against Allah now? You, you follow the imam? No, I have to ask them why they say that the Quran is a miracle, where the Quran says that we refrain from sending signs. Well, so it I says in the front of you, them. chapter 17. Yeah. this kind of argument oh because you are talking to christian prince this is always there is first time my friend like i can know like there is no ending of knowing a knowledge like you're knowledgeable but i answered like allah was within, within the burning bush and allah was talking with musa -Islam. okay guys allah was in the burning bush he was what in the burning bush well, let's go back to the burning bush so the first one the miracle be, 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 uh, turned to be false okay allah was in the burning bush as what as a light tafsir ibn kasir says as a light as a light or as a fire yeah man, a fire of light. No, light there, of fire. no no there is a huge difference that between light thing. and fire there is a huge difference between light and fire Listen, according to the Islamic theology, Allah mm. is was within his throne, but at the same time, he was present within the burning bush. Mm. My friend, according to Islamic mythology, this is a joke, because you Muslims, you claim that Allah, he created shaitan from fire. Yet he come and you agree that Allah is a fire. So Allah and shaitan, they are from the same material. They are fire. Tree. What? Tree. Tree. No, Holy tree. no, 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 you just say, okay, what is in the tree? There's a fire. Here we go. Chapter 27, verse number eight, it says, but when he come to the fire, to the what? To the fire, a voice was heard. Blessed are those, actually, uh, it's not those, uh, all of them, they are in the fire. There's only one in the fire. And those who they are around it. Blessed the, the one who is in the fire and the ones who is around yes. it. Okay. Who is the one who is in the fire? You said this is Allah. And you said and this Allah Allah Himself is the is the fire. That's why it's a blast. Yes, Exodus chapter 3 also says that. Okay, but you see, but for us we don't say that shaitan was created from fire. Who said that Satan was created from fire? The Quran. Are you inventing things? 
You are saying so new things. I never heard. I mean, are you in half is? So what I know, what does that mean? You never heard. I don't care. You heard. You just heard now. This is you're talking to Christian friends to get ready. So chapter 15, verse number 27, it says that Allah, sorry, the, the, the shaitan, the genie, he was created from fire and shaitan himself is a genie. So Allah and a genie, they are, they have the same nature of a creation. Both of them, they are fire. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Shaitan was a good genie, but he became a bad genie. Shaitan, he so was a good genie? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And he worshipped Allah. Hmm. Let me ask you, the Quran, as long as we are talking about the nature of Allah, we don't want to change the topic. I was going to talk about the genie, how he got his penis, but maybe you don't know. Do you know how the genie got his penis? Oh my God, does genie Well, your religion, penis? your religion says that a shaitan, the first shaitan, he have a children. Then the Muslims, they start wondering, okay, how shaitan have a children? Do you have a wife? The answer was simple. That Allah created for shaitan a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. And when he want to have sex, he shake his legs. By the way, I'm not shaking my legs, I honest, I honestly. And and then he entered this into that, and boom, boom, he boom, boom himself. And then at the end of the day, he laid in eggs. And from every egg, there is 70. Where, where, where did you get this from? Uh, from the, everything I say to you, you say to me, where do you get this from? I mean, what's wrong with you? I and mean, what kind of a Muslim? You know nothing. I mean, this is not in the Quran. I mean, the one. No, in the, the, penis the Quran. In the Quran, Quran says. Quran no, okay. The the okay, the Quran says. Here we go. The Quran says that uh, 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 that he have childrens. Where is the childrens? How how Shaitan he got his children? Do you know? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. No, you need to know. You are a Muslim. We are learning from you. We are learning from the genius Islam. You know. So how Shaitan he have a children? We want to know how he got his first children. Like he he went to a dating website and he started dating women, or what happened? How he got his uh, how he got this uh, children? Okay, we can change the topic. You want to talk about Allah? No, 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 no. We will talk about Allah. But let's finish this one. How how genie? How Shaitan, Mister Shaitan, he got his children? What happened? Do you think he, he okay. maybe because it was it, it was Corona at that time and he was do you think maybe he was kidnapped by some women? There's some women they are aggressive, man, very aggressive. Do you think he was kidnapped by some women? like once I was walking in the beach and like there's twenty women they grabbed me from under the sand. They, they are called sand women, you know. They grabbed me and they try to do things for me. Like I'm not I'm, I'm shy to tell you what you know what they want from me actually, you know. Uh, so, uh, but uh, Allah saved me and he sent uh, to bridge Jibreel and he have birds and they throw rocks at them and because they are made from sad, uh, they are destroyed already, you know, true story. Now, Allah, he said that Shaitan, he have a children. We want to know how he got the children. I mean, why this religion have no answers? It's just to throw words here, here and there. Shaitan have a children. Okay, how Shaitan got the children? I want to know. He, okay, it, it doesn't have to be like sex. It can be like virus. Right, it doesn't have, it, it doesn't have to be. To it doesn't another. have to be like sex. Okay. Well, you Muslim, you say it's sex. It says Allah created for him a penis and a vagina, and he shake his his legs, and this enter into that, and then he lay eggs. And by the way, Shaitan, he lay eggs. Why? He's a chicken. This is actually like the Arabs didn't have any problem about this verse because Quran was revealed to Arabs. Like, but revealed to me, the Arab, not to you. Oh, okay, I understand that now. This is why I understand it very well that it's stupid. Hmm. So, do you have an answer how Shaitan got his kids, or you have no idea? Yeah, like sex, like you taught me. 
Hmm. But I will ask my imam too. But thanks for like teaching me this because I never heard this kind of teachings from imams. Like they always teach hmm. like some surahs. They they say that we can read the translation. Hmm. We have to just read the Arabic. Okay, we go back to the nature of Allah. What do you what do you want to tell me about the nature of Allah? What do you know about? You see, I will make it uh, simple for you. Tell me about the nature of Allah. What is His nature? Allah said, Allah is one. This is the nature of Allah. I'm not one asking Lord. you if He is one. I mean, it's. Allah, uh, hold on. Allah, 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 hold on. Here we go. He start reciting for me a stupid verse, my friend. If Allah is one or two or three, that is silly to say. Actually, if Allah, His name is Allah, that's mean He's one. Obviously, I mean, but His name is not Allah. So He is one. Okay. So what is the nature of this one? You, you, I ask you the nature of this one. You are saying to me He's one. Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, I have one tree. Is that the answer for the nature of the tree? The one is the number. Okay. Allah nature is what. Allah's nature is unitarian. Is what? Unitarian. What does have to do with the nature of unitarian? Are you talking about what are you talking about? Okay, we got it. Allah is one. We got it. We got it. Allah is made of what? Allah is made of nothing. Who, who can create Allah? Thank who you guys. Create Allah. Okay, Allah hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Allah is made from nothing. Allah is made from that's mean he is nothing. Because Allah, because Allah, according to your prophet, he is a physical being, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he has a throne, he has this shin, mm -hmm. he has eyes. Okay, he guys, he have uh, he Allah have he shin. have eyes, he have shin, he have fingers. Okay, wonderful. I like what you are saying. Okay, so now based on what you just informed us, which is fantastical, so the shin of He's Allah. Is, okay, so the shin of Allah, the one you just agreed that Allah He have it, is made from what? It's made. No, you can't say like. How God was created, you cannot worship a creator. Well, I can, I can, my was, friend. I, I am a Christian prince. I, I, was, question, I can question as I wish. I'm a Christian. Don't tell me, don't question. The don't question is the very, the very stupid answer for the stupid one. Like, don't ask, so you will not know. Okay, the shin was eternal. Who cares if the shin? Okay, guys, the the shin will not will not decay because of the the the, the uh, corona. Who care about this? The shin of Allah is made from what? No, it is eternal. I didn't ask you about how eternal it is. Why you are uh, giving me an answer? I'm not asking you for. The shin of Allah is made from what? If I say that the shin of Allah is made from something. Mm. Then I am doing like shirk, but which he, I can. Okay, but, but okay. How come if you say he have a shin is not shirk, and how how you are? Do you know what shirk? Shirk is worshiping someone beside Allah. You are not doing that. You are just telling me what the shin of Allah is made from. So what the shin of Allah? I, if I, mean, I say, uh -huh. if I say that the shin is created. That it means I'm, I, I'm not Allah asking you. Okay, don't tell created. me. Okay, don't say the word created. I will protect you, my friend. Uh, anyone will say the word created. I'm going to shoot him. Let me get my uh, 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 my, my my shoes. So anyone he say uh, Allah is created, we will uh, bounce you. Okay, but this is another question. The shin of Allah is created from what? The shin became from like inside of Allah. Like inside guys the shin is, the shin is okay okay you know what I'm going to use your uh, uh, your answer which is uh, really fantastic I like it you know I really like it to be honest with you uh, 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 I'm going to use your uh, your answer in a very nice way so let us see okay I will I will use my uh, uh, you know I'm very good in art I don't know if like I won many prize in uh, in art very big artists you can search my name you know uh, it's, it's called artistico so i will i will uh, i will help you here i'm trying just to find a, an empty space i cannot find an empty space anyway so the shin of allah is made inside allah that's what you said so i'm going to draw this is allah 
Yes. Okay. I hope you like the way Allah is look like. Because he have face, he have etc. And he have hands. And he have two right hands and both of them in the right side, which is very weird. We will talk about that later. Yes. Okay. This is Allah. And Allah have two hands in the right side only. In the left side, there's nothing. And but each hand have a five finger. You should live in a okay. Muslim country. Okay, hold on. Not wrong. Okay. Like Muslims will kill you because no, of this. No problem. Well, let, let them kill me if they, if they, if they, uh, if they can. So you said Allah shin is made inside him. So I'm going to take the shin of Allah out from his leg now. And I am going to make it inside Allah. Uh, according to what you said. I'm just following uh, your your uh, your instruction. So Allah shin is made inside Allah. This is the shin of Allah. Okay. The shin of Allah is made inside inside Allah. How the shin of Allah then moved out of Allah? you were asking me you have to ask Allah why did your shin like is like that like you have why you have only one shin not two hmm. like this kind of question you have to ask Allah not yeah me. but, but like, you just said to me I the shin of Allah the shin of Allah is made inside inside Allah so Allah is making no, no, no. you are you are drawing the shin inside the chest of Allah no I said that inside the spirit of Allah but Allah has no spirit what are you talking about Yes, Allah had the spirit, the Ruh Al-Quds. My friend, no, the Ruh Al-Quds is Jibreel according to Muslims. What, uh, what are you talking about? No, 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 not every scholar says because Allah did not read his spirit like Jibreel to Virgin Mary. <laughs> like, this, this doesn't make any sense. Like Allah read it exactly it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense but the, the, the Muslims they agree that Allah has no spirit my friend you can search it right now Allah has no spirit I can search it for you I yes, can like, wait for you on the screen like those Islamic tafsis like our Tabe Tabeen hmm. they wanted to refute early Christians that's why they made a theology like the hmm. spirit of Allah is Jibreel but this is not the case. So you are saying to me that you Muslims, in order to refute someone like Christian Prince, you lie. Not Christian Prince, the early Christians. Well, yeah, my early, early okay, let me ask you. Let me let me tell you. There's, there's something about okay. me you don't know. My Listen. grandfather, his name Keep is. A, hold on, my grandfather, his name is Christian Prince. My grand grand grandfather, his name is Christian Prince. The grand 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 grandfather, his name is a Christian Prince. So those scholars, they were refuting Christian Prince at that time. So what you are saying to me that your scholars lie to the first Christian prince or second one, I don't know which one. Yes, why? Because you Christians, like you question so difficult question. Like you say, if Jesus is the word, then was his, the word created? Was Jesus eternal? Was the Quran eternal? Mm -hmm. Like you, you ask so difficult questions, which is not answered in our Quran. So that's why we have to make like so is it is it is it is okay what is the problem now the problem is that we christian we ask smart questions and you muslims you have stupid answers are, are you saying that to me like no you are asking so difficult questions this, this is exactly is okay what answer. difficult question mean what difficult question mean it's mean it's so it's 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 a brilliant question this is what difficult means to the point is difficult for you which means you cannot so you shouldn't you shouldn't ask this question what do you mean I should not turn? Uh, why I should not ask this question? The question is a question. And you know, if, if, if how you want people to convert your religion and yet the, this religion have no answer for a question? Yeah, I want to, like we say that to Christians in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse 72 to 75, that they worship Allah in a trinity. And the trinity, then verse 75 says that the Messiah is no more than a messenger and his mother was a grateful woman mm. and they both ate food so mm. you were worshipping like in the inside the three of Trinity Allah let me ask you can Allah, eat, can, can, can Allah eat food Isa, Isa. can Allah eat food no he cannot eat food so I am more powerful than Allah because I can eat food he cannot Allah cannot eat food, like Allah doesn't need to eat Exactly, food. no, it's not about need, it's about I can. I said I said to you, can he eat food? I'm not saying he need or not. Okay, can he eat if food I, or he cannot? If Allah wants, yeah, if Allah wants, he can. Oh, but a second ago you said he cannot. 
like I I thought that you're asking mm. like okay I will, I will make it I will make it more simple complicated for you can Allah have a son no no why why he cannot it is haram. it's haram who said haram is it Allah he says Allah push. how can Allah have a son mm. he doesn't have any wife thank you so Allah said, how can he have a son if he don't have a wife? That's mean Allah questioning his ability. How can he? Who is saying who can he? You're the one who quote the verse for me. So Allah is saying that he cannot have a son because how can he have a son and he don't have a girlfriend? So Allah cannot have a son like me. I am single Why? because I don't have it. Because I don't, I don't, my friend, it's not about haram. It says, how can he? How can he? You see, you when Allah he is saying, how can he? He is questioning the ability, not the possibility. Allah is questioning. Allah is questioning. Not we are questioning. No. Questioning. Okay, wonderful. That even Allah makes is. it more easier for us. If Allah is saying how can, that means it's about he can and he cannot. So what is the, the problem in he to be able to do can? He don't have a girlfriend. So how can he if he don't have a girlfriend? So if Allah have a girlfriend, then he can. That's mean your God Allah yeah, is limited. Okay, so the God of the Christians, he don't have a girlfriend, and you must then believe that Mary she was a virgin. So how can Mary have a son yet she don't have a boyfriend? Because Allah breathed his spirit into Virgin Mary. That's why. Right. Okay, look Mary guys, look, but look at the contradiction. Allah does. Uh, the same Allah saying he cannot have a son without a, a girlfriend, and the same Allah saying that Mary she can have a son without girlfriend. I mean, what don't you think? Don't you see that this is a stupid logic? Because in order to prove that Mary she is a virgin, and this is possible, then I have to agree that it's possible to have a son without having a boyfriend or girlfriend. So by saying that Allah cannot have a, a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend, that means it's impossible. If it's impossible to Allah, how is that possible to Mary? Obviously, the God of Mary is not the same God. The God of Mary is not the same God of Muhammad. The God of Muhammad cannot make himself or anyone have a son without a girlfriend. Because if he cannot do it, you cannot do it. Suppose he is your God. But the God of Mary, he can do it. Because Maryam needed Allah. And Allah needed his spirit. And it is impossible for Allah to have a son but it is possible for Maryam -Islam to have a son my friend we are not talking about possible or not the Quran is saying that it's not possible don't 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 yeah, don't, it's don't no it's impossible how Allah can he how can he okay so what Allah is missing here to have a son in this verse wife wife thank you so if Allah got a wife then he can do it so Allah is not capable of doing it because there is a missing partner, so Allah cannot have such a, a, a children without a partner. But this is normal for everybody. We do not need to be God to do that. So Allah is like us. You are questioning the ability of Allah. I'm, I'm not a question. He is saying, do you see the verse? It says, how can he? I'm using his word. <laughs> How no, can I he? This verse. I quoted you this verse. Okay, so but see I am okay. not questioning, my friend. It's you who question it because you are the one quoting. How can he have a son? The second you say, how can he how? have a son? It's mean you are the one is a question. Yeah, Allah question. is a question. Okay, okay. I have a question for you. I have a question. For hold on, hold on. Before like, you ask me, I have to call. I, I have to ask my mom if it's okay. Can I take a question from him? Okay. But my mom, she said, okay. Go ahead. Okay, like do we like do you Christians like clarify to me? Do you Christians believe that God had sex with Virgin Mary and produced Jesus? No, we don't believe. And even your Quran says Mary is virgin. So, what is this question is about? I talk, see, no, this is why I, this why I say this, like, this why I say. Let me ask my mom. Let this why I say. Let me ask my mom if she allowed me to answer you because I know the question will be silly. And my mom she forbid me from speaking silly talk. We have, we have imams. Hmm. Like they are preaching that Christians believe God had sex with Virgin Mary to produce Jesus, even in very big Muslim apology. No, some scholars they okay. say some scholar okay. they say that Allah he blew in the in the vagina of Mary and he made her horny 
and then he moved the sperm which Allah uh, uh, like uh, installed inside her. Like scholars say hmm. about Christians, the Christians believe. No, that's that a lie. God that's a lie. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a big. Christians. That's a big fat lie. The same as Muhammad, the we big fat lie prophecy. ever. My we friend. have our prophecy, like our like our tabi tabi in, in the tafsir also hmm. says that that okay. well, Christians believe. My friend, my, my friend, my friend, that, that's a good good reason for you to leave Islam because if Muslims are a bunch of liars, if your teachers are liars, then they are following the devil. You can go and check right now any Christian in the world, any church, you will not find single one believe in such a garbage. So obviously, Quran says that you worship Mary. Quran, Quran says you worship Quran? Mary. Okay, what, what you are changing topic? You said the, uh, the, the, the Christian believe that uh, God have sex with Mary, right? Why you are jumping now? Because Allah is saying, Lam yalid wa lam yulad. You are an Arab, you know what is valid. Okay, means. Allah, Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Okay, what does that mean? But Allah doesn't be God, nor is He begotten. Okay, that's a wonderful thing. Allah, He never be God and never begotten. But you see, Allah says in the Quran, if Allah, He like to have a children, He will have sex with the black eyed women. Is that true? We'll see that. Well, uh, the Quran. Allah have to sex with the black eyed women. Which type of, like, which Quran verse does say that? Like, if you can show me this verse, that I will start having doubt. Uh, so you don't have doubt already? I thought you have. I don't know. I have a feeling that you that you have you have that uh, you have that already. Chapter 21, verse number 17, it says, If we'd like to take a wife, sorry, not a wife, a woman for fun, like for boom boom, you know, because Allah is very strong in boom boom. He eat uh, a lot of missiles. So if we like to do boom boom for fun, we surely take it from our us, from ourselves. See, this is the Muslim translation here says, things nearest to us, but the, the Quran says, from us. If you change the translation, this is Yusuf Ali. What translation is your favorite translation, my friend? You, what is your favorite translation? Yusuf Ali. Who? Say international. Yusuf Ali Sahih International. Sahih translation. International. Okay, Sahih International. Let us see Sahih International. All right. Okay. Uh, here they are saying, what is with us? But this doesn't say that. It says from ourselves. They are lying. Nowhere it says with what us, with us. It says from us. Min ladunna, from ourself. Let me show you the interpretation. So you don't say we are making things up. The interpretation, make it clear and get those liars translator busted. Can we intend to take diversion? We could have taken it what? with us. Yes, I know this verse. Yeah, but do that if Sir says that if Allah He will take it, He will take He will take it from ourselves. From no. ourselves. Okay. Well, let us see if this is true or not, my friend. We will see in a second if this is true or not. You see, Muslims they have tons of translation. All of them they are a bunch of liars trying to cover up for the false uh, teaching of Muhammad. We will see in a second. I'm trying to open the website of the Kingdom of Jordan. But look, I just changed the translation. Look what happened. This is Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Had we in, uh, intended to take a pastime, i.e. wife or son, etc., we could surely, surely have taken it from, our, from us. Who's us? Allah. So Allah, okay, he, Allah, he will marry himself. He will take a girlfriend from himself. He, so is Allah as a girl? You know, if Allah is a girl, I'm going to change my attitude from him. I'm single. No, Allah is not a girl. Okay. Every time Allah uses pronouns. Well, I'm very, disa I'm very disappointed now. But this question now, Allah will take a girlfriend from us. So who is us? Allah. Okay, but the girlfriend is from us. So Allah is transgender or what?
Are you laughing at Allah now, my friend? Here we go. I just made them laugh at Allah. What do you want more? No, but you said it too funny. I mean, Allah is... Funny. Exactly, brother. I, I, if you want, I can make it more funny for you. Brother, Allah is going to take a wife from himself. And he would do that because he's Allah. Hey, brother, how he can take a wife from himself if he is one? Hey, brother, Allah, he has many wives inside him. And he can have any one of them. It is they are inside him what they are doing there they are doing camping they are doing what camping yeah i i, I want to say this that maybe allah can create a wife from inside his being oh allah you have a wife from inside so okay but if allah is going to have a wife and it, it's coming from inside okay allah this woman is coming from inside him she, he get her out from where Again, you are questioning God. I'm not. I'm just a question in the process. Forget about God now. Okay, Allah have the women inside him. You Muslims are funny. I mean, Allah, he have a storage of women inside him, a warehouse of women. And now Allah will get the women from inside him. How he grab, it, how, grab her out? He he, he go to the bathroom, sit in the toilet seat. Like, uh, she come out? Well, where are the women she will come out from? Inside his being. He's in the throne, and angels are seeing him. He's inside what? Inside what? what? I, I did not answer. I didn't understand. He's inside what? Inside his being. Inside, inside his, his being. I being. listen, my friend. I eat beans every day because of Corona. But this is not the question. How Allah will get the women outside? By throwing them out. How he get them out? From where? It can be from his body or his shin or his hand. Man, you know, you know what? I remember now. Once, I just told you about women when I was walking in the beach. There was like 300 women. They, they grabbed me from my shin. And now no, I was wondering what they are doing, man. They are trying to get some of their... Yes. They are trying to get some of their sisters from my shin because they look like I am, I am God like Allah and I have many women inside my shin. So you are saying to me that the wife of Allah is inside the shin of Allah. Look, there is, I'm not saying that Allah has a wife. I said if Allah had any wife, if because Allah is saying in this verse, He can He can make any wife, He can make any anything. Hmm. Like if He could, then like He can do that. Like hmm. in, from His like, and you you are just saying the sheen of Allah. The sheen of Allah is bigger enough of this universe. We cannot imagine. We cannot imagine how the shin of Allah look like, right? Yeah, it is so big enough, so big enough. Hmm, so big, it's so big. Ah, how, how big? What do you think? What do you mean you're big? Why he need big shin? What he would do with it? Why every why everything oh about God, the God of Islam? Face. Why everything about the God of Islam is so big? Why the sizes matter? Is is his penis big too? Allah doesn't have any penis. We okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. You are, make, you are making me confused now. I am your victim now. So Allah don't have a penis. So how he is going to have a wife? What he will do? He will use his nose? Or he will use his fingers? Excuse me. Allah, Allah doesn't have any genitalia because he doesn't have no any problem like, so what the point of saying wife, okay so how how he don't have but yet he is going to have a wife I, I feel sorry for this wife what she will do at home i mean she will sit there allah come on like i just got a new lingerie for you <laughs> okay wait for me i'm coming maybe in the coming sensory so if, if he have no <laughs> a penis and this woman she is his wife now so what the point of this Maybe I was wrong, Allah has it, but I can't say that. Oh, maybe you are wrong, Allah have a penis. So you change Allah your mind about, it. okay, so Allah have a penis. Does, the, does Allah penis have uh, testicles too, or there's no need? Well, you were questioning about God to his creation. I did not see Allah. No, I'm just a questioning, I, I mean, what he has, so I will learn where to shoot, my friend. Uh, I don't want to shoot for that's nothing. Why, so, okay, listen. That's why Muslim scholars lie, because... Christians ask so difficult question from the time of Islam. Mm. They are asking too difficult question about God. Mm. That's why the Muslim scholars lie. Now I understand. 
Now you understand. So we ask uh, harder questions and you Muslims lie in order to protect Allah. And okay, so after all this conversation, what we got from you? You did not tell me anything about Allah except that it's possible that Allah have a penis. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Penis. But this is not the question. The nature of Allah. The, okay, let us say Allah have a shin or penis. This penis or shin is made from what? Yeah, it, it was made from Allah. It's what? Made by Allah? I'm not asking you made by Allah. Guys, the penis of Allah made by Allah. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm so glad you did not get from China. I mean, Chinese products are really horrible. You don't want to get, uh, you know, Allah can get uh, his, uh, from China. Okay. So Allah, he, he got his private part and his shin made by him. Made from what? Made from what? Made from what? The made material from, from God. I'm not, made from I'm, his word. From his part, from okay. This part, word. okay. Let's let us go to, uh, again to zero. This part is made from what? Okay, it's made from his part. This part is made from what? Silicon, plastic, rubber. What is the, what is it? Allah created everything from his word. From his fart? Word, word, kalima, kalima. Ah, you know word. what? I don't know for some reason. Some reason I, I I thought you are saying fart. It's uh, your voice is not clear. Like, okay, so Allah He created everything from His words. Okay, but what is the material of Him? So Allah He created Himself. You are saying? I I I don't know what is the material because Quran doesn't give us any answer. Okay, there, there is a hadith that says that Allah He created Himself from the sweat of the horses. Where? Yeah, I can show it to you. What? What do you mean? Where? Because you are saying the same. You are saying Allah He created Himself, right? What happened in the past? Allah cannot create. Like Allah was eternal. Allah was everywhere. My well, friend, you just said to me. The same. You just said to me that Allah He created His His shin, right? From his word, be, and okay. it was. Okay, so Allah, he said to his shin, be, and it was? Yeah, maybe this is like the, yeah. Yeah, but this is mean Allah, he created himself. Who is the first one who said be before Allah, he have shin and face? Who is the one who was saying be if there is nothing? Because in a certain point, there was no shin, there was no leg, there is no ass, there is no penis, there is nothing. So who is the first one who said B and then Allah Shin come to exist. Who is that one who said that? B? Allah. But Allah does not Allah. exist yet. You are saying to me Allah created His Shin by saying B, created Himself by saying B. So who is the first one who said B? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's uh, it's a good thing you do not know. I mean, all Muslims do not know. So you are a perfect Muslim, actually. Do you know? For sure, I know. Uh, Allah is a fiction; does not exist. This is a this is a stupid lie. There is nothing is called Allah. Allah is among God exists before us now. Hmm? No, no, you worship Allah, right? You are an Arab Christian. You no, we don't. Allah. No, we don't worship Allah. Allah is our joke. What are you talking about? If, so why if do I, Arab if, Christians if, they if, say if Allah? I, this is a, because they are under the occupation of Muslims for 1400 years. Here we go. I'm laughing at Allah. Don't you see? Can't you notice? So what we are doing here, if I am worshiping Allah, so what, uh, uh, you know, what, what does that mean? You know, are you, what, what is your sect as a Muslim? You are a Sunni, right? Yes. Okay. The Hanabila is the one who say, according to some, uh, that uh, 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 there's, a, there's a scholar, his name is Al-Hawaz al he uh, he put in his book Imam uh -huh. Imam Hanbali yeah Al Ahwaz Al Hanbali he said that Inna Allah lma arada an yakhliq nafsahu khalaq al khayl fajraha hatta ariqat thumma khalaq nafsahu min dharik al arq and then says translation that Allah when he wanted to create himself he cre he he made the the horses run and then he made it sweat which means sweat a lot, and then he created himself from that sweat. So what do you think about this? Why you, why you Muslims are going so far to the point you are saying that Allah created from the family of donkeys?
How that can be true? Maybe, maybe like we should need to say anything like we do not say anything like that. We do not. We. Okay, I don't care. You say you go. You know. You see, I'm not reading. Really, my friend, I'm not reading. Really maybe Christian. I'm not. I'm not reading. I am not. I am not reading. I'm not reading a Christian book. I'm reading your Muslim books. A Christian, maybe a Christian questioned Imam Hanbali. That's why he had to make it up. Christians just. Oh, so you always Muslims? Okay, so Muslims always when you ask them different, this is a different question. They reach the point. They go crazy and they start saying that Allah was created from donkeys. And this is a solution to answer questions, but the, but this is will make more questions now. I mean, what this is will not stop our question. That will make us laugh, because now we will come with more question. If Allah created from the horse, so who is the one who created the horses? When I go to heaven, I will ask Allah about that. Oh, okay. I promise I will tell you from heaven. Oh, okay, you don't uh, don't forget to give me a call from heaven. You are going to go to heaven. What you will do there? We will have many things in heaven, like seventy-two virgins. What about then what about have... what about gay? Do you like, like if you wish to have a gay to be a gay? You can be a gay in heaven. No, impossible. They mm -hmm. will burn in hell. Okay, for well, no, no, your prophet said say the opposite. Why you are lying, my friend? Why you are lying? You know I respect you a lot. We just we just, we just say that you have a degree in farting. I mean in the, no in the wording. So your prophet said that there is a market a bazaar in the heaven, uh, and this market there's nothing in it except images, pictures, and when a Muslim. He yeah, like, I noted, I noted. Okay, but hold on. What do you mean noted? What do you mean noted? You just said to me that in heaven you are not going to have sex with men and you are a man. But your prophet said it clearly, and I'm showing you the hadith in front of us in the screen. In the Indeed, indeed, this is for sure. This is not like maybe uh, impossible. Maybe the shelf is empty. No, indeed, in paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men, men and women. Okay, wonderful. So whenever a man desire an image, who is the one who will desire it? A man, like you. Desire an image, image of what? Image of men and women. He enter it. Yes. So you're a prophet, he promised you to have sex with the Playboy magazine. You go, they have magazine. You open it. Oh, this guy is hot. Me, look at this. Me, look at him. Which, those, like what type of guy is it like they, he wants to have sex with guys my friend none of my business this is not my business maybe you like it you're obviously your prophet he like it obviously your prophet he knew his customers his customers they like it otherwise why he promised it if there's no customer to buy this lie he will not make it yeah 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 you're, well, yeah, you're right in some point because we have hadiths where our prophet Muhammad kissed guys mm. and he took off his shirt and he kissed guys Hmm. He kissed what? Guys, his sahabis. Hmm. He kissed Do you his know sahabis. that hadith? Our yeah. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Maybe that's why he said that there would be a market because if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam desires like he desires women, but sometimes so he are, desires So you are men, saying your Prophet he was a men. he was a homosexual? You are saying your Prophet? This is not homosexual. This is bisexual. Oh, this One is bisexual. So, you, so your prophet, men, okay, so your prophet, he liked to have sex with men and women. So are you in home? Like, yes, if he wants, he can. Like, okay, that's wonderful. Well, I, I know we, we can contact the mayor of San Francisco. He will welcome him there. He's welcome in San Francisco. But now listen, listen to this. Uh, Allah promised you in heaven that you will have sex with men and women, correct? And you are saying your prophet is a bisexual, not homosexual. Well, this is his business, honestly, and none of my business if he is or not. But I'm just trying to learn about your majestic prophet. Uh, one of the uh, Muslims in the text, his name is Muhammad Qadir. He says, when it says a man, it's mean a human. It's mean a human. Hmm. My friend, man is a human. No, no, no. Man is not 
like so he's denying like he does versus men and women and I mean, later he does I mean, I mean men. I mean the stupidity women is amazing in Arabic it says women it clearly arrajul 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 mean a, a male not a female male the man so he's saying the word yes. uh, it's mean a human I mean look how you see you see how your brothers in Islam they lie my friend to just to cover the shame this I, I accept that I, I I think that this is not shame like if our prophet was bisexual then what is the problem no problem I mean, I, you're right so okay after all this conversation with you with, with you so what uh, we go back to zero what is the nature of the shame of Allah it's made from what I say that I can't tell because I we do not have any Okay. Where, okay. My, fr my friend, just, just to give just to give opportunity for better Muslims, maybe who can make better argument than yours. I'll have to be fair. I'm going to hang up on you, so more Muslims can call us. Is that okay for you? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Who is next? Let us see. We have uh, people try to call. Actually, I want to be sure they are Muslims. Only Muslims can call, please. If you are not a Muslim, don't call. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us? Hmm? Who is a Muslim? You see, this guy, he did his part, obviously, you know. Everything he said is horrible. Very horrible. I want a Muslim to do better. Muhammad Hamza is calling us. How are you, Mr. Muhammad? Hello? Yes, uh, Muhammad. Go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, salam. Uh, Go ahead, my friend. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say? I'm not having your voice clear. Are you away from Mike? My friend, uh, my voice is very strong. Right? You know, uh, actually, I broke two of my windows because of my voice. Don't worry. So, uh, you hear me or not? I can hear you, but your voice is like uh, low. Anyways, maybe maybe because the, uh, your phone is not close to your ear. Try to 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 put your head down in the phone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's talk. We are talking. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? We are, the topic is that Allah He breathed, mm -hmm. and we, we we if you heard the one before you, He said that Allah have a shin, but He do not know it's made it from what. So do you have an idea the shin of Allah is made it from what? What is? I am not here to talk about Allah or what whatever is shin. So what I'm do you want? We are talk talking about, about Corona. Bible. Why you are calling me? If you don't want to talk about Mr. Allah, Bull. if you don't want to talk about Allah, no. why you you are calling me to talk about what Corona? No Bible. Oh, Bible, the but, Bible but, is but, word of word. but our yeah. okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm just going to make you happy. The Bible, go ahead. Okay, so though, my question is uh, to you that how is Jesus God uh, as per the Old Testament and the New Testament? And how is what? What? I don't, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't understand. Repeat the question, that, uh, repeat the question slowly, hello? please. Your voice is not clear. You, you, how Jesus is God, what? How Jesus is God as per the Old Testament and the New Testament? And my second question is... What is the first like, question? I did not uh, get your you question. Prove? How God, how Jesus is God in the Old Testament and the New Testament? This is the question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. God is, a, is, is Jesus is God in the Old Testament and New Testament. And what will you going to do now? This is not a question. I mean, this is silly. Ask me something. Uh, I, I, I don't see a question in the question. Uh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm saying that uh, I, I got two questions for you. The, the first question is like, uh, how is Jesus God as per the Bible? Because Jesus doesn't, doesn't claim himself to be God. Like Paul is uh, maybe the, you Christians are claiming him to be God. And second hmm. question is like, which version of the Bible should I believe in? Well, I, 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 you know, I advise you to read the Quran according to Yusuf Ali or the Quran according to Bikhtar. What do you mean version? This is a translation. Yeah, they are, listen, 
Yeah, listen, 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 Bible. listen. You what version? You what version? This is translation. So, secondly, you are saying that the Bible never said that Jesus is God. Well, we read, go the, from the chapter number one in the book of John, verse number one. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God. And then, verse number fourteen says, "And the word became a flesh, and that is Jesus the Christ." So, what you are saying to me? Yeah, nowhere says, and Jesus said, and, yeah. Jesus, and Jesus said, "I am God. Worship me." Many places in the Bible. If I show you that, are you willing to leave Islam? But you have to show me from the like correct Bible because you guys have like. Okay, uh, guys, uh, you have to show me from the correct. You have to show me. You have to show me from the correct Bible. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, like which Jesus. which Bible you agree with? It's called correct Bible to show you from the correct Bible. It's not not upon me to show you. you no, have you have because, because I have the correct Bible. Not, if I show you from my Bible, hold on. If I show you from my Bible, you will say this is not the correct one. So do you have the correct one in order to know this is not correct one? No, I, I will agree. I will agree with you. I will agree with you. Just show me which Bible do you believe in, KGV or the Catholic one? My friend, this is the translation. Don't, don't don't be stupid. The, 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 it's a, the, 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 the King James and the Catholic is the same. Don't be stupid. Okay, I'm not being stupid. Just mm. tell me one thing. Catholic Bible has seven, got seven books than the KGV. My friend, first of all, you do not know anything KGV, about... KGV, oh, hold on, no. No, no, no. Like, uh, 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 no. Do you know what the word Bible means? I don't know. The Bible means the book of books. I'm, so, it's many books. And the, the, the Protestant, they say, there's books we should not contain them inside the word Bible because they are mostly, mostly they are tradition. And we don't have enough manuscript of them to add them to the major collection. That's all. Otherwise, both of them, they have the same yeah, books. Why, why so listen, 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 listen. And originally, they are not actually in one book. Okay. They are books. You Muslims agree with that. Isn't it your, your God, Muhammad, he say that there is a book for David. There's a book for Abraham. There's a book for Moses. There's a book for Isa. So there are books, not one book. So if we put the four Gospels of Jesus in one book, that is going to be the, called the Gospel. Anything else is not the Gospel. The act, the act, and the work of the disciple of Jesus and the, the word of Jesus. This is the Gospel. So this is what is the Gospel. Anything else is either the Torah or the Psalm or etc. So this is a different book. So you are very confused about what you are saying. Secondly, if I show you now a verse from the Bible saying Jesus said I'm God, what you will do? First of all, you have to clarify me whether book of Revelations and Corinthians are word of God or word of Paul and some other uh, guy. Okay, well, the Quran says that Paul, according to the Tafsir, Paul is a messenger of Allah. So I'm asking you now, are you saying that Allah is a liar? I am asking you which book you believe in. You believe in the Gospel? I, I, the I, be, I believe in all of them. Paul I believe in all of them. I'm asking you now. You just said that Paul fabricated Bible, right? I didn't say that. I am asking you. So you I believe in what Paul says. Yeah, I believe. I believe in what Paul says. Uh, you are, you are, you are wasting my time. You are wasting my time. If I show you that Jesus says I am God, worship me. What you will do? From which Bible you gonna show me? You gonna write your own? None of your business. None of your business. I will show you. No, we have Bible. That don't waste my time. I don't want to talk to kids. This is a stupid idiot. Next. You think this any with you are going to write your Bible? Either you are a adult, mature, you are a donkey. What a donkey you are. We are serious here. Are you going to write the Bible of your own? I mean, the Bible is all over the internet. How I can write it on my own, you donkey? And why in the world somebody is a Christian who believe in God and he knew the Bible says that if anyone who fabricated, anyone he fabricated verses additional to what we have, he is going to be burned in hellfire. So you are a coward. Hello? Hello? We lost him. Okay, we have somebody. <coughs> answer, answer.
I'm not going to keep calling you for until tomorrow. Either you want to talk or not. Next. Why are you are calling me again? Hello. Are you are you calling to make fun or to to be smart? I'm here to be uh, smart with you, but you okay. Have so why you are why you are why you are insulting? Why you are insulting? Saying are you going to write your own Bible? No, I'm not insulting you. But because uh, you just no, you are because when you are saying you are you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you are going to write your own. Did you say to me? Are you going? Are you? Did you say? Did you say to me? You are. Are you going to write your own Bible or you did not say that? Listen, I my not that with you with what you understood. What? Same page of while we are talking the Bible, like I can put something from the Catholic Bible and then you say that I am not a Catholic. No, you can put anything from the no. You can put for me anything from the Catholic Bible and I will accept. And you can put for me anything from the Protestant Bible and I will accept. And you are a potato. Now you ask me, do you uh, uh, shut up? You said if I show you, you are going to leave Islam, yes or no? Hello? If I show you that Jesus says I am God, are you willing to leave Islam? Show me. Okay. Guys, he says show me, which means he's agree. Here we go. It's in the front of you. And Yeshua answer, and he said to them. I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. John chapter 8, verse number 12. John chapter 8, verse number 12. Verse number 12. Verse number 12. Hello. 12. Hmm. I'm reading in the, the KGB Bible. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I am the living God. When he say I am, this is I am Yahweh. I am I am Yahweh. I am, I am Yahweh. I, I am the living God. I said, okay. I'm gonna say that okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If I say I am the light of the world, who I am then? It's you. You are talking about yourself. Hey, okay, so Jesus said he is. Okay, Jesus said. Okay, Jesus said, shut up. He Jesus said, I am the light of the world. What does that mean? That means he's, he has come here to bring light in the, into the hearts of people. Is Muhammad the light of the world? That's a secondary thing. I'm to be a This is not the question. Is Muhammad? Is it? Is it Allah? He say in the Quran. Is it Allah? He say in the Quran that he is the light of the world. I don't know. What do you mean you do not know? Aren't you a Muslim? You know, a second ago you are a specialist in the Catholic Bible, the Protestant Bible, and now the second I ask you about your Quran, you do not know how what happened. The thing is, I'm not a scholar here to argue with. Like, I'm brother, I am, I am not a scholar. I am, I, I am not no, a scholar. No, no, no. So, what are you, a donkey? Why are you are calling me? If you are not a scholar and you are trying to get me busted and refute me, why you are calling me? Suddenly, you became not a scholar. Allah in the Quran said that He is the light of the sky and the earth and the heaven, and this is exactly what Jesus is saying, which means that your prophet Muhammad. Still in the word of Jesus, and he put it in the Quran in chapter 24, verse number 30, 35. And this is why this chapter called the chapter of Anur, the light. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. Yeah. But Jesus says, I am the light of the heaven and the earth. <laughs> and who is the one who said and who is the one who said that sentence first shut up and don't call me again i don't have time for kids you donkey <laughs> try to to make your love better you know you sound like a prostitute work in thailand who is the one who says, I am the God, I am the light of the heaven and the earth first, Jesus? 
600 years before the life of Muhammad. So Muhammad is copying the word of Jesus, putting it in the Quran. And yes, he said, I am God. If you are not a Muslim, don't call me. If you are not a Muslim and you call, I will hang up on you. We, all, we only want Muhammadans. Let us see, we have a Muslim. <coughs> Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Hi, CP. How are you? I'm fine. Actually, I appreciate for your hard work you are actually doing for Christianity. I mean, uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I just want to... Uh, actually, I was a this cult follower for, I can't say... I was born with this okay. until uh, I find out this cult is has nothing to do with actually with a god so you are an ex and, you are an ex-muslim you used to be a muslim and now you became what oh yeah i know actually i haven't converted to christianity i started going to church uh, actually i met a priest and unfortunately that coronavirus has come up and then now everywhere is shut down so there is no my way friend to go there to we church. go okay don't worry here we go coronavirus cannot stop us i am here with you you do not need a priest i'm willing to help yeah, you yeah. to accept jesus so if I, you want I, I I can't say I can't say that, that Allah ha, Allah is not a god. I, I I believe Allah was a devil. If Allah was exist, he was a devil, or, or is just created by Muhammad. Or I can't say I, I think you know that actually Allah was a, a name of biggest statue back back in the day in Saudi Arabia in that day Mecca or Medina. Hmm. So it's not the true God actually. That that's what I believe, and I I I believe it from my heart that Allah is no God absolutely. and it has nothing to do with the true God absolutely if it is a God is it an aggressive I mean uh, look at Muhammad look at Muhammad past he was a rapist he was a killer I mean he I mean he came to create the Arab Empire you know so to, to show the people okay the Arab nation is the best nation in the world and he killed all this you know innocent people the Jewish the Christian you know, it's it's not a god. I mean, it has nothing to do with a god. There is no nothing in that religion exists to make you believe. Okay, that religion actually comes from the god. Nobody can believe it but, except uh, the fool but, uh, people, the brainwashed people. My friend, you know? uh, I'm not going to say your name as long as you're an ex-Muslim. Uh, oh, my my name is Aras, and I'm, I'm so proud I left this cult. I'm okay. a Kurdish anyway. Oh, you are a Kurdish. Oh, okay, okay, that's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. My, my friend. No, but so what make you, my, my, my yeah. friend? What make you? What is yeah. the like? Tell us the first time you decide to think about Allah is not God. What 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 move you? Because, uh, sorry, can you say again? What moved you and made you think that Allah cannot be God? What how the start start? Yeah, because because I found the truth. Okay, but how? What? Yeah. Uh, what the trigger? Like you know, is it uh, mistakes the mistake? Actually, the trigger. Mm. Do you know the 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 Doctor Pishtiwan, Pishtiwan Abdullah? He's actually he's uh, um, making a life. I mean, I can say every day, but in Kurdish. Oh, okay. Well, I don't um, we know. We have I... so many people. I mean, I think I think I, I, I think he I, called I, I, me I, I, once. Yeah, I, I think I think he texts me and calls us once. I think he's a Kurdish. I remember, yeah. Maybe him. Yeah, actually, he's a really hard worker, just like you. I mean, mm. he did convert a lot of people to the Christianity or to other religion. Mm. He just uh, really actually <clears throat> working hard to wake Kurdish people up from this cult. So mm. it was number one. And in the past, which is actually, I never, uh, I had doubt about this religion, to be honest. Even, you know, since when I grow up and I, you know, I become a proper person. I just I always had a doubt about that religion. I knew that religion is, is no right, you know? Yeah. And unfortunately, because of Christianity, we are far, far away. We used to be far away from the Christianity. Even back home, now I don't live in uh, Iraq. I'm a Kurdish from Iraq anyway. But I, at the moment, I'm, uh, I, I'm living in the UK, United Kingdom. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I choose Christianity because I found the peace. 
and I, I found, I, as soon as I chose so Christianity, you, I feel you, happy. And but you did not I convert yet, peace. right? Even I, I haven't converted yet, but I read the Bible, so I'm reading the Old Testament now. Hmm. I finished the New okay, Testament, what, actually, how, uh, I'm Aris, 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 how I can help you to accept the Christ? Here we go. You said you could not go to the church because of the priest, uh, Corona, etc. You cannot go. So here you we go. You don't have to help me. I accept Christ. I accept Christ. I hope Christ accepts me as his follower. I, just, I, I accept Christ as my Lord. You know, I want the Christ to actually give me eternal life. You know, so, because so, I believe, so, you know, so, and I feel so you, sorry for Christ. I follow a wrong religion because I didn't know. You know. And I, I, I just feel sorry about that, you know. Yeah, so now, you do, so are you saying you accept Christ, your Savior, you do not need my help then? You are already a believer in Jesus. I, I do accept, I was going to baptize, but... Oh, okay, uh, ah, okay, church, okay. I, and I went to church, they shut down, they say, sorry, uh, as, as a UK, actually, the rule being uh, imposed on the people, so mm. uh, everywhere must shut down, everyone must stay Yeah, home. yeah, we can, you can wait, you can wait, no, yeah, you can wait, I mean, uh, I hope this is soon will be over and you, you can get baptism. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing actually left for me to be baptized. I accept Christ as a, my Savior, mm. as my Lord, you know. So I don't have any problem with this. Okay. So I choose Christianity by myself. Nobody told me go to the Christianity. There used to be a lot of religion. You know, I choose Christianity because <clears throat> I believe Jesus is God. I believe that Christianity is the true religion. And whatever this allegation made by Islam, uh, toward Christianity is all bullshit. It's, none of them is true. Because why? Because after the, the, the allegation no made by the Muslim uh, toward the Christianity, what's the, what's the point of existing Muhammad? Why the Muhammad came? I mean, what's the point of the Muhammad came? You know? So they must make this allegation, you know, that this propaganda toward Christianity. And Muhammad just was a killer and a rapist and he's just a, a horrible guy. You know, yeah. when you, whatever you can say, but you know, uh, Aris, Aris, but you know, Aris, now I'm sad for you because you will not get the versions. Don't you want to get the version, man? They are beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is all bullshit, man. That's not true. It's not true. That, that's the reason why the Muhammad attracts so many people for fight. So they promise them a lot of, uh, there will be a lot of version for you next life. So this, uh, this is, uh, this was a, uh, you know, uh, that was a big reason for Muhammad to create an but, army. Uh, but you know, you know I don't know. I mean, the Jews, you know? yeah, but I mean, you as a, you as a Middle Eastern, and we are Middle Eastern. You know, we yeah. like we yeah. like we like bones, and the Prophet he promised us we will see women bones. We will see women they are so white to the point we can see through the marrow of their bones. So if you stay as a Muslim, my friend, I'm just trying to help you. If you stay as a Muslim, your wife she cannot hide the food she steal from the refrigerator because you can see through. Exactly, it's like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what kind of a stupid cult? What kind of a stupid? This, this is a, this is a, this is a sick fuck. Huh? I'm sorry, my language. No, you know? no, no bad language. That's just a sick fuck. Listen, fuck. listen, a, listen, yeah, listen. I want, I want, I want, I want to tell you know? something, uh, uh, Aras. You know, you used to be Muslim. I understand. Yes. After yes, you yes, accept yes, Christ, I, don't use bad language. After I am so happy and I am so proud of this. Yeah, don't use that. And all my, my family friend. is Muslim and I don't care. This is not my problem. Yeah. So anyway, well, I, I think, hope I'm, Jesus will help them one day. I'm, I'm happy for you. And uh, thank you for calling us. And we will take Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Hopefully I will speak to you again, you know. So yeah. just to introduce myself anyway. You are welcome. Take, take care. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. So be safe. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Guys, the Prophet of Allah, he promised us women. Women, me, and those women are very special. Women, you can see the marrow of their bones. And just to explain to you, what are you missing? You see, I'm trying to do missionary for Allah. I'm just trying to convert you to Islam, brother. I mean, how we can, how, 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 how we can, don't, don't, don't call me now, please. A second, just wait. Let me finish the topic, please. Uh... Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. I'm sorry, but I'm looking at your channel on YouTube, but I'm not sure which one you're at. 
because you're live here on this one here, Arabian Prophet. Yeah, this but is my channel. Nevertheless, I'm talking to you on Skype, so I'm not really quite sure where you are exactly. My friend, you are talking to me on <laughs> Skype, then just focus on Skype. You can mute me, uh, YouTube in order to see the screen. Okay. Okay, very well. Are you on the screen? I just have two questions for you. Are you on the screen? I'm sorry, say again. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. You are a Christian? Yes. So what do you think about Muhammad? I, uh, I've i got a lot of comments. Um, I prefer not to I prefer not to talk about it. Why? Because I live in a Muslim country. Hmm. And uh, if, you're, uh, if you're subject to open such uh, references... Uh, well, you know, uh, my friend, first of all, we are, we are saying people who want to call, they have to be Muslims. And you are saying you are Christian, so I don't, I don't uh, you know, you are taking the time from the Muslims now. Either. Yes, that's okay. true. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Muslim call, please. This is, this is the promise. Hello? Hello? Yes. Okay, my friend. We have a hadith in front of us. You are a Muslim? Yes. Okay, the hadith says that your prophet, he promised you women, you will see the marrow of their bones. Is that really how the women look in the heaven of Allah? You just lied on the Bible, pulled the verse saying that Jesus said, I'm the living God. This is ultimate daddy. How, how, are, how are you, ultimate daddy? How, how are you, ultimate daddy? I never did it Bible. <laughs> Pull that verse, John 8, 12. Pull okay, it. Here we go. <laughs> I am the living God. Read it. Do you revive you? Yes, so the brother was right. You created a new Bible. We did? I am the living God. Okay, read, read the Bible you have. Go ahead. Read it. Go ahead and read it. You read it. I Here am we go. The living God. I am the living God, the light of the world. Either you speak you like an adult. Listen, Abdul, 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 son of Muta. Either you speak like a man, or I will hang up on you. Speak like a man. Speak like a man, or I will hang up on you. Are you going to speak like a man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. All right. No, you never, you never spoke like a man. So this is the verse in the front of you. What's your problem? You're hanging up on people. What? I said, you were the one hanging up on people, screaming. You, uh, you were anyone is a stupid like you, I'm going to hang up on him because he's act like a kid like you. So, so I'm asking you now, you call me, you call me to prove me a liar. Go to the top. Don't force me to hang up on you. Come on, go prove me wrong. Go ahead. I know you will. That's what you do. Shut up, son of Muta. You see why I'm losing my time with you? I said to you just to prove me wrong, you coward, and you will not do it. Hello? <laughs> yes. So you will do it or not? I, I answer my question. I ask you a question. Answer. Why, why you want to always uh, 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 ask questions? Why you never answer questions? You stupid. You just call me to prove me that I fabricate a Bible. Are you going to do it or not? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, the question. you stupid. You idiot donkey. Go ahead. It's you who's calling me to prove me wrong. And you say to me, go ahead. Get lost. <laughs> he called me to prove me wrong. He said to me, go ahead. Go ahead what, you donkey? I mean, what your mom, she feeded you, milk or camel urine when you were a baby? He fabricated the Bible. This is the Aramaic Bible, you donkey. This is the original. The rest are translation. This is as it is in the Aramaic Bible. And you are your stupid one who said to me that you accept the Aramaic Bible and Jesus spoke Aramaic. Aramaic Bible in plain English. So simply all what they are doing, they are switching the word. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear, go ahead. <clears throat> I have two questions for you, please, if you don't mind. I'm Christian. I don't know if God disconnected or something or what. Mm. But my friend, we said Muslims only. 
Muslims only, but when can I call you? Because you're very busy. And you can call me when I say you. Christians can call. Sorry? You can call me when I say Christians can call. This is the time for the Muslims. And what time What time do you debate with the Christians? Debate with the Christians? Are you, you see that you are a liar, you're not a Christian? What time you will debate with the Christians? <laughs> and why I want to debate with the Christians? <laughs> I ask you, what do you think about Muhammad? You refuse to say, oh, because I live in a Muslim country. What a son of Muta you are, deceiver. You are a Muslim. Coward. Oh, I live in a Muslim country. I prefer not to say. Sneaky cowards. No dignity. You fabricated the Bible. Jesus says, okay, it's in the front of you. Jesus says, I am the living God. I am he. Coward. And this is the Aramaic Bible. And by saying, I am the light of the world, he confirmed that he is the living God, for the living God is the light of the world. No other light but beside him. And whoever follow me shall not walk in darkness. How you can do that? You follow Jesus, you follow God. <laughs> the life of a mule. When the Quran says that Allah is Nuru Samawati Wal Ard, the light of the heaven and the earth, he is copying Jesus. That is Muhammad. Claiming that he is Jesus. That is Muhammad. As simple as that. Each time Jesus says, I am, the correct translation is, I am the living God. Christians, do you know that? What God he said to Moses when he asked him, who are you? He said, I am. So each time Jesus says, I am, he said, I am Yahweh. This is what I am is, Yahweh. The living God. So the stupid he go, he says, oh, it says there I am. It doesn't say living God in different translation. But each time it says I am, he is saying he is a living God. Yes, Abdul. When the Quran says that Allah is Muslim, I you Mute you too. Abdul, mute you too. Hello? Hello? Okay, go on. Before you call me, you have to find out if your mic is clear or not. If it's not, don't call me. And you have to mute you too. All the translation. Anytime Jesus says, I am, and this is coming from the Aramaic. What is the state I am? What I am is in Hebrew. If you go and see what God he says to Moses, you will see exactly this is what I am mean. This is my, I, I am your God. I am the living God. I am Yahweh. I am who I am. Moses says to him, who are you? What I will tell my people. Hmm? So the donkeys who do not know what they are talking about, They laugh. For us, we laugh at you. And look how many times Jesus he repeat the same thing. I said to you that you shall die in your sin for unless you shall believe that I am the living God. So people die in their sin unless they believe he is the living God. You shall die in your sin. The Judans were saying, who are you? Who are you? Yeshua said to them, even though I have begun to talk to you, there are many things for me to say and judge concerning you. 
And then he continued, and again he confirmed to them who is he. Yeshua spoke again to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am the living God. I do nothing of my own pleasure, but just as my Father has taught me. So I am speaking. And this is what the Bible confirmed, that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. So anything Jesus says, it is God the Father speaking. And he who sent me, and my Father has not left me alone. So Jesus always, and the Father, and the Holy Spirit, never, never separated. In which way? In the present, and power and ability. And this is why the Jews actually, they wanted to kill him. Because he claimed to be the living God. And this is mentioned in the Bible in many places. And here you see that when Muhammad, he claimed that he is following Abraham, Jesus have an answer for those lies. Jesus says even to those who they are for real from the children of Abraham, not fabricator like Muhammad claiming to be from Ishmael. Yeshua said to them, If God were your father, you would have loved me. For I have proceeded from God and have not come of my own pleasure, but he has sent me. And why you do not understand my word? It's because you cannot hear my word. You are from your father, the devil, not Abraham. They claim to be from Abraham. If you go back to the verse, it says, The answer we're saying to him, Abraham, our father, Yeshua said to them, If you were a children of Abraham, you would have been doing the work of Abraham. This is the same we say to Muhammad and his followers. Did Muhammad do the work of Abraham? Going around the stones, kissing his stones, Making verses saying, any woman she want to give herself, take off her panty for me. Allah gave me privilege that any woman I can have sex with her without even witnesses of marriage. Get the best of the booty. Anyone want to meet me have to pay me. That is the work of Abraham. And the top of that, he has zero miracles. And then you will see. The Jews were saying to him, you are not 50 years old. Why they are saying that? Because he said, if I glorify Yeshua, he said, if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing because anyone can glorify himself. Anyone can say, claim whatever he wants. It is my father who glorify me. Hold on. The father is God. How the God can glorify anyone? The glory always only to God. Nobody have a glory. Everybody have to glorify God, not the opposite. But the Father glorified the Son. He of whom you say, He is our God. Because they keep saying He's our God. And you do not know Him, but I know Him. And if I had said that I am not known Him, I myself would have been a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his words. Abraham, your father, desired to see my days, and he saw it and rejoiced. Hold on. Jesus now claiming that he was exist in the time of Abraham. And Abraham, he saw his days, days of God. He met God. How, he, how this has happened? The Jews, they said to him, you are not even 50 years old and you have seen Abraham? This is for the donkeys who says that Jesus, where was Jesus before he was born? Where was Jesus before he was born? Where? Where's the Trinity? This is what they say, right? The Trinity has always exist. The existence of the Messiah have nothing to do with the birth. He exists before his birth. 
you are not yet 50 years old and yet have seen Abraham Yeshua said to them timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham would exist I am in some translation they say I am but this is exactly that I am Yahweh I am the living God I am before Abraham exists I am you see that he stopped I am what is I am I am is the living God how he can be exist before Abraham that's mean that this person is eternal do you know how many hundreds of years between Abraham and the time of the Messiah yet the Messiah is saying before Abraham what Abraham not only in the time of Abraham before Abraham and this was why they started stoning the Messiah. And then you see a fool saying, ha, 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 you lie, the Christian. Uh, you go ahead. If you ask me, who are you? No, my friend, if I say to you, I am, this is, is you see, the stupidity is amazing. Let me show you. Let me show you. After all the explanation, look what this Abdul is saying. The God of the Christian, this is how he gave the definition for himself. So it's not up to you. Moses asked God, who are you? Who are you? He said, I am. This is how God he speak you idiot. Moses says to him, "Who are you? What's your name? What I shall say to them?" God said to Moses, "I am who I am." If we go and go and take it to the Hebrew, you will see how you understand then that this is why this is what some Christians you know like we say it's a name because God he said this is who I am but in fact it's not a name it is a meaning of the self-existence of God so when Jesus says I am he is saying what he said to Moses do you understand silly So each time, you see, here we go. The God of God, the God of Israel is saying to him, I am who I am. And you go, you say to them, I am has sent me to you. Who is the one who sent me to you? Guys, do you see it? Do you see it? What Moses will say to the Jews, who sent me to you? I am. So the silly who says we are fabricating Bible, it is you who is a donkey, for you are ignorant in your religion and you are ignorant in ours. Moses, he went to his people and he said to them, I am, he sent me to you. <laughs> and then an idiot, he will say, oh, okay, well, what you are fabricating? He didn't say he's God. This is the name of God in our Bible, you idiot donkey. This is not a normal I am like me speaking about myself. You see, Jesus not only he said, I am, I am God, the light of the world. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning at the end. I am the resurrection. I am. Who was the resurrection? How Jesus can be the resurrection? If he's just a prophet. And yet they say to you, where Jesus says I am God and we challenge it shows brother and sister you can't find one verse, one single verse in the Bible it said that this is God said I'm God worship me <laughs> hmm. 
Mm. So actually, when in the translation they say, <clears throat> uh, Muhammad saying that Allah, he says, I am God, just to show you how stupid what you are saying, my friend. Not a single place, your God Allah say what you say, because by saying Allah, you just say two words. God, lah, because Allah is not the name of your God. Allah is two words contain the word Al, which means God, and the word La, which the name of your God. If you go in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 1, verse number 2, we will find the following. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You will find here that Allah is not the same as this word here, but was supposed to be Allah. No, they are not. Here is Bismillah. Let us make it simple for the ignorant. Here we have something. It's called L. Here we don't have it. It's gone. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Do you notice? Do you notice, guys? There's a letter is missing. Why? You cannot take a letter from the name unless it's additional, correct? Okay, so what is additional here? You will see it says Bismillah, Bism al lah Bism mean in the name. And by the way, it's written in the Quran wrong because it has to come with Alif, which means A, letter A. But this is not our topic for now. So in the name of al lah al Al in Arabic today mean the, but this is starting from the old ancient Aramaic and Hebrew. La. Allah means God. La. So by saying Allah, you are saying the word God and saying the word La, the name of the God. In the second verse here, this verse. It says, Alhamdu Lillah, Li Lah. Li in Arabic means two. Li Lah. Thanks to Lah. So those Abdul who worship a God, they call him Allah. They are a bunch of fools. They do not know the real word for the name. The real name of your God is Lah, not Allah. Allah, Al is a word meaning God. Lah is the name. So Alhamdulillah. And if we do a little search and you go in Google, you will find that La is the moon god. So did you learn what the name of your God? And now I just to show them that this is a story name. Not a single Muslim knew what Allah means. You don't know. For this is a stolen word from a, from a stolen language. Imported name. Otherwise, tell me what the meaning. They have, there is no meaning. They say it's a name. Okay, what does name mean? They don't know. And not only the God, their God name, do not know what it means. They know nothing. Okay, what what the Isa mean? They don't know. What Messiah mean? They don't know. What Israel mean? They don't know. Ishmael, Abraham, they don't know. Because all of those are stolen words from different belief and different language. If we ask any Muslim now, okay, what al Masih mean? He will start guessing. If you read the interpretation, you will die laughing. One of them, he says, because the Prophet Isa, he have a flat feet. So they call him al Masih. Al Masih, flat feet. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We have somebody he said he accepted Jesus. Uh,
Okay. Well, we are happy for you, my friend, that you accepted the Messiah. Hello. Ultimate, go. <clears throat> you can run away from me. You coward! You say you keep. Say, I keep saying to you, yeah, go, go ahead. You are a coward. You are a potato. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. I don't want to use my voice. Either you have something serious to say, or you okay. act like a I kid. Will. I will. Okay, go ahead. Can I talk now? Well, I, 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 I hang up on you because you refuse to talk. You pull the verse, hmm. John eight twelve. Hmm. It says, but it says, hmm. I am the, I am the living God, the light of the world. Hmm. There is not one Bible. You said that this is the Aramaic, the original Bible. Hmm. Now, well, go ahead and pull me any version. Go put me the KJV. Go ahead, pull the King James. All right, here we go. This is the this is the KJV. This is the KG, the, this is, this is King James. And here we go. It says that God, when He spoke to Moses, Moses asked Him, "Who are who are you? What's your name?" He said, go and tell them that I am. I am has sent me. So the Aramaic is set up. Shut up. You asked me for uh, the question. You are, you are, shut up. Shut up. You asked me to answer. I'm asking Okay. So each time they say I am, that means he is saying I am the living God. What is your problem? Pull John 8, 12. I did. I did. It says there. Okay, in the, what does it say? What's wrong with you? I just I answer you. Okay, is is that here in the front of you? That this is the name God. Hold on. Did God? Did God choose to say I am as a name for Him? Yes or no? He said what? Did, did God choose? And I'm showing you Exodus chapter three, verse number thirteen to fifteen. Did God choose hmm? the name for Him as I am? Okay. Do you know how many I am's are in the Bible? Doesn't matter. Did God choose to say I am? No, no, no. Answer me. Yeah. Am I gonna call? Son of Muta. Do you know how many I am in the Bible? We can. We don't care about I am as a sentence. When he say I am the light of the world, he is not a claim saying I am coming from the school. That is a different story. You are stupid. Don't waste my time. You see why I hang up on you? You are just a kid. You want to argue. This is our answer. You like it, you like it. You don't like it. Hit your head in the wall. God, he presents himself as I am. And Jesus is not saying I am coming from school. He's saying I am the light of the world. I am the living God. Actually, if we go in the Hebrew, we will find it even more clear. For he is saying the name which we use let me switch to Hebrew just to show you how we get this potato exposing himself. We will use the Jewish Old Testament. And then everybody will see why we laugh at those people. Let us see the Orthodox Jews. Here we go. Do you see it? This is what I am, you idiot. Ehe ya ashir ehe. So each time you see him saying I am, he is saying the same sentence. Ehe ehe ye ashir eh ye, which is we say Yahweh. Do you see your stupidity? This is what I am is. They are the same but not in Hebrew. So you are reading a translation, you donkey. You are not reading the original language. In the original language, it is different word. In here, it's just I am. Hold on, we have a, we have a strong wind. Something fell down, I'm not sure. I hope not a tree.
All right, everything is fine. So, guys, those fools, when they say Jesus, he said, he just said, he is, I am. He doesn't say that. No, he, this is the sentence he said. That is what God, he presents himself in the Old Testament. And this is why the Jews, they wanted to kill him. For he claimed to be God. And if you read the whole Bible, you will see that the Bible is saying clearly, he is a claiming to, to be God. He is not claiming to be a prophet. <clears throat> Let me uh, grab some verses for you. Never, never listen to the fool. They are ignorance to speak, not them. You see, we are not like you, a donkey, who try to teach us about Islam, and then you don't know nothing about Islam, and then suddenly you want to teach us about our belief. You don't even know. Look, we have a simple question starts two hours ago, and yet not every single one of you, he have an answer. What we got that Muhammad was a bisexual. Allah have a shin was created inside him. And every one of you start giving us his own, his own fantasy about his religion because none of you knows. Each time the Messiah, he say, if you go and see, if we go and see how many times the Messiah saying I am, what is after this I am, then we will know. If he is a claiming to be God or not. If this is a normal I am, in like the one we see in English, or this is a special I am, you will find that those are, do you know how many I am in the Bible? For sure there's many I am, but this is not the same word. This is not the same word. Let us read some verses. And then we will take... Don't call now, please, until we show some verses. In John 6... Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Chapter 6, verse number 35. Let us open it. And I will show it to you in any translation you want, because it doesn't, doesn't matter. Any translation you like. By saying, I am, he is confirming that he is God, who all people live by him. What is the bread? What is that? <clears throat> he is the source of life. Read carefully. Any translation you want. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. This is I am here is the same I am in the Old Testament that I am God. He is claiming to be what? He is the source of living things. He who come to me shall never hunger, and he who believe in me shall never thirst. How that can be? It's impossible. So God is not saying here, I am just a bread, and then the Muslim, he will laugh, ha, 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 he's a bread. <laughs> Let us eat him. <laughs> they will do it. Trust me, they are silly. I assure you, they will do it. 
Actually, there's a Muslim, he says to me that Jesus, uh, he ordered the Christian to drink his piss. I said, where is that? He said, he said, I am the, uh, the one who drink my water. Hmm? Jesus says, I am the door. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Like, imagine how clear we can make it more than this. I am the resurrection and the life. How you can be the resurrection? Who are you? So, is he saying just I am, or he's saying something nobody has? Is that a normal I am? Absolutely not. So when a Muslim, he make a comment about this I am, showing us his ignorance, he do not know that I am in Christianity is the only name God gave to himself. And I cannot say actually it's a name, but we can make it, well, this is how he identify himself. He did not give himself another name. This is the only thing God he gave to Moses. And you will notice that each time Jesus he speak in John number 10, in John number 11, in John number 12, it doesn't matter. Each time Jesus he speak, he is saying he is the living God. And this is the correct translation actually for the Aramaic or the Hebrew. It's not just a word in English mean I am. But again, Yeshua said to them, timeless truth, I speak to you. I am the living God. This is what God, he says to Moses. The gate of the folk and all who had come were thieves and robbers. But the folk did not hear them. I am the living God, the gate. If anyone will enter by me, he shall live and shall go and find pastor. And yet they said to you, okay, I am here does not mean he's God. You see, he's not saying that God is the gate, God is the resurrection, God is the life, God is, God is, is he's saying I am. What does I am mean? This is exactly what God, he said to Moses. So do you see how we got them busted? Very easy. <clears throat> and look, each time Jesus, he says, I am, there's something to follow. Not like this fool, he said, do you know how many times the Bible says I am? He's, but he's not saying just I am, like I am a student, I am. He's saying, I am the good shepherd. But isn't it Jesus says to a guy, he said to him, you are good. Jesus says to him, why you call me good? Only God is good, which means you are, why you are calling me God? Do you really believe in me? But yet Jesus himself, he just, he said, I am the good shepherd. Who is the shepherd of the world? God. Who is the one who take care of us? What we call God when we pray as a Christian, our Father out of heaven. Give us what? Give us our food. Give us our, uh, our resource. Forgive to us. Did Jesus forgive sin in the Bible? Absolutely. He said to him, which he said to the Jews, which one is easier to say to him, forgive your sin or carry your bed and walk? He said to the, the guy, your sin is forgiven. The Jews, they said, like, who is this guy who is saying, forgive your sin? Because only God can forgive sin. If you ask any Muslim who can forgive sin, they will say only God. And the black stone. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. We have a Muslim.
Please unmute your talk. Hello? Go ahead, my friend. You are live on here. So you are a Muslim, and what? how I can help you? Yes, I'm a Muslim, but uh, right now I was, um, I'm standing at the crossroad between uh, Muslim and Christian. So can you convince me um, that uh, Islam is a cult uh, religion? Well, that's what I'm doing. I mean, I have, so right I, have now, a, I have millions of videos to convince you, my friend. I mean, wh okay, what is? Let us let us make it simple. What is not convincing to you that I am not convincing you yet? I mean, why are you still a Muslim? So because uh, mm. you know I, I'm from uh, Indonesia, and then every single day uh, I heard that the uh, you know Azan five times a day, mm. and then people around me is a uh, Muslim. So, uh, but uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm in the uh, a crossroad right now between. Islam and Christian. You called me last so, time, right? You called me. Uh, you called me a few days ago or yesterday. I'm not sure because I see that you called me before, correct? Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, what is convincing still about Islam for you? So I can sh show you that this is wrong. What is holding you into Islam? That. That's why um. People told me that the um Islam is a peace religion, and then you mm. know. And, um, but um, from the bottom of my heart is um, because I heard your video, you know, for a long time ago, hmm. and then, but still, I don't know. Well, that's why I, I was trying to call you to confuse, convince me. me um that's islam is a cult religion well i mean to to prove a cult it's very easy any all cults they share the same thing that's the prophet he want to sleep with the women who follow him he want their money and this is exactly what muhammad he said before before I answer you, just wait. Uh, 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 this ultimate thought he's saying, I challenge you to put uh, King James. This is King James. This is I am. We did not add anything. I am here is the same as I am, the living God. This is I am. This is a translation. They are just using it as an English word. But the fact I am God, I am Yahweh, I am the God of Moses. And it says here, the light of the world. So this idiot, he want to say, it says only I am in this translation, but he forgot it says that he is the light of the world. It says I am before I am the resurrection, but he is saying he is I am the resurrection. So I am is follow, follow by description have to do only with God. So you are an idiot, the one who is saying that in text uh, ultimate fort. And here we go. And again, this is a translation. You go to the original, you will find that I am here is the same statement as a name given by God to Moses. And this is not an English word mean I am as the word you read it. It is a Hebrew word for the self-existence. I am who I am. And yet he will say to me where it says that. So there is no need to repeat myself because obviously uh, repeating to a donkey will not help. This is why you always memorize the Quran, but you don't understand it, for you are a donkey. Go ahead, my friend. So, when the Muslim they say to you that uh, Muhammad is uh, peaceful, you see, he's peaceful or not is not going to be really a big problem because maybe, maybe Muhammad people they force him into war. Maybe he was a good guy, but people they force him to be fight back. Maybe this is what the Muslim they say to us. But the truth is. Muhammad, not only he is not peaceful, Muhammad is a fraud. Every single verse in the Quran proving that Muhammad is a fraud. As an example, if we go in the Quran, do you believe really that the baby created from a dead blood? Yeah. Do you believe in that? You think it's true? The baby what? I'm sorry, I think. Do you believe, do you agree with the Quran saying that the baby is created from a dead blood? 
Nah. Okay, do you agree that the sperm became... Can you see... Uh, uh, because uh, as far as I know, uh, women, they don't have a, a sperm. They have an egg. And then only no, no, for, a forget, man forget, has a yeah. sperm. Okay, but the Quran is saying clearly sperm that uh, the Quran is saying clearly that the sperm became a congealed blood. What do you think about that? Maybe um, at the time they don't have um, you know a scientist to um, prove that the woman have a a uh, egg and then a man half of sperm my, my friend there's nothing but but you see remember this is the one is talking here is god so what that time i mean are you saying that at that time allah need to go to school he is not learned and those western uh, christians uh, uh, jews they knew better than allah that would be funny so when god he says and we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood that is stupid so forget about muhammad being terrorist and he was terrorist he being a rapist and forget about that. We will let it go. But God, he do not know how the baby is created. Of course he does. But he will go in the front but, the first in front of us, chapter 23, verse number 14, saying that the sperm made into a clot of a congealed blood, and congealed blood is dead. When you cut yourself, when you cut yourself, a blood will be dry in your skin. That is the congealed blood. Dead blood. So how this is can be from yeah, God? Um, see what, what I'm trying to understand that may, maybe um, you know the people at the time they because as far as I know Quran is writing by the people right and then when the God said uh, um, uh, what is that um, a woman they have a sperm or they have an egg, but at the time people thinking about maybe woman has a sperm, I mean, friend, sperm friend. too. Okay, what at the time? We are talking about God. God, he should not open his mouth unless it's true. So he did not correct them now. He made them believe in something stupid. So what the point of this? I give you false information. If you do not know, then keep your mouth shut. So Allah did not keep his mouth shut. He, he said he know. He's telling them how he created the baby. Okay, how he created the baby, this is stupid. And then the congealed blood made into a clot, and then the clot made into, into a lump, and then the lump made out of, of the lump to the bones, and then the close of the bones. So the last thing, the last thing Allah he made is the skin, which is stupid. I mean, he closed the bone with the flesh. So the, 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 not the, not the skin, sorry, the meat. Your flesh was the last thing to exist. That's stupid. So if you look at the process, you are a sperm, then you became a dead blood, and then you became a clot of dead blood, and then you became a piece of uh, of uh, like a, uh, like a, a gel, you know, like a hard hard bone, and then that hard bone uh, uh, closed with the flesh. This is this is God the creation. How the, how how such a mistake? How such a st stupid silly statement can be exist? Maybe it's a miracle. Miracle to say something is stupid? I can say something stupid too. Okay, I'm going to mix a miracle for you now. I created the human being from zucchini. Zucchini became burkini and the burkini... I don't know about that though. But what do you think about my Quran, about the bikini verse? Here we go. I created man from zucchini, and the zucchini became a burkini, and the burkini went to Burkina Faso, and Burkina Faso became a bikini, and then women, they are wearing bikini. Praise be Alto to Christian Prince, the maker of the bikini. Allahu Akbar. What is this? So either we open our mouth and we say something smart, or we shut up. So why you why you are not being brave and you say I want to leave Islam? Come on, you are laughing already. I can tell you know I hear you. 
You are laughing at this garbage. So do you think it's the, uh, Islam is a false I don't think, I'm sure. Religion? I'm, I'm sure, my friend. Did you hear any Muslim can give us a single answer correctly for the religion? How come those Christian Muslims, they do not know anything about the religion? Did you hear the callers before? Not a single one of them hear anything. And we say to them that Jesus says, I am the light. They say, what well, Jesus says, I'm God. I am the resurrection. They say, never. They say, you're lying, fabricating. It says in the front of you. So what do you think? <clears throat> I don't see right now I, I, I think I got a lot uh, it's like a butterflies in my my stomach and Will I you? don't know I got a I headache it, and then I think it's time to drink cam a camera you my friend what do you think of? what do you think about the doctor Muhammad advising people to drink camera you As I know, it's just urine is uh, the virus is, I mean, you know, all the uh, sick virus. Yeah, there, there, is, there is, there, you can go right now to the United Nations Health Department. You will find there is a big warning for people who drink camel milk and camel urine. It's very, very dangerous, have very deadly viruses, more deadly than, than Corona. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not only camel urine, it's uh, all the urine is coming out of, you know, the body is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, God. <coughs> so do you think, do you think uh, I have to leave Islam? I don't think, my friend, it's you who need to think because this is about salvation. Do you really believe there's God, he will make your penis English? What you would do with this penis if, you, if it's in place? So you live in you live in Jakarta and your penis now is in Istanbul. You receive a call from the police in Istanbul. Tereden, tereden. Aman, Rabbi Aman, your your penis eat your Roman in our country, Mister Fahman. Okay, what 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 your penis doing? So you are living in a place and your penis in the other galaxy. I mean, what what, what how is stupid this promise is? I mean, what I would do with this penis? I'm going to use it as a, a, a as a pipe for oil or cable for the internet. If my wife is next to me, why the penis is endless? Wife, do you see the penis? No, honey, I don't see it. Uh, do you think we hit the wall? No, honey, you did not hit the wall. You did hit the uh, sausages machine. Oh, you are going to cut it, make it sausages now. What kind of God this God is? What kind of God he promised you? Women, you will see the marrow of their bones. What is that? What kind of God he promised you? Women, their ass is one mile. To be honest with you, I like, I, I like, you know, I mean, the, the big ones are so, I mean, you know, all, all of us, we, men, we, we like like a, a, a 65 inch, a, a, a 70 inch, you know, like Samsung, but one mile, one mile, not inch, one mile. Do you know how many inches that? Millions of inches. So what kind of God he promised me a woman in such a size? A size doesn't matter in Islam. By the way, when you go to heaven, I want you to take a selfie when you climb the butt of your wife, who her mile is... By the way, it's very hard because it's smooth. Allah, he spent 1,000 years to, to, to smooth the skin of those women. I mean, look at this stupidity. How the God of Islam, he say, be is going to be. And it took him 1,000 years just to smooth the ass of a woman. I mean, why? She is made from concrete. Even if it's concrete, you can go buy a machine from Home Depot. It's going to smooth the concrete for you in two minutes. 1,000 years to smooth his skin. Somebody call Allah. He can order from Amazon some Nivea or Vaseline. So what do you think, my friend? Yeah, I think it's yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm. I don't know. Maybe 
it's 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 not Islam is not a false. It's a I think it's a joke. So maybe I I, it's a, I, I leave it's not, Islam. It's not a false. It's cult. It's false. Or, I don't know. I understand. It's, it's not just cult. I mean, it's, it's a cult. joke. I mean, you know. It's a joke. Exactly. Thank you. So you decide to leave Islam, my friend. think so that's wonderful I'm so happy for you finally finally we, 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 we start using our brain that's wonderful that's a good sign I mean there's no way this God is a God I mean look at this God my friend uh, stupidity and you know like in this heaven Allah he promised us you know I'm just, I, 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 I will do the opposite usually I Muslims they call me and they leave Islam I'm, I will try today different direction I'm going to try to make you convert to Islam back don't you like big breasts be honest with me You think so? You like big breast? Okay, my friend. Christ don't give you big breast. Okay. Allah give you big breast. I, I advise you to go back to Islam. What do you think? Look, Quran chapter 78 promise you that you will have huge, round breast. What do you think? <laughs> now let me let me let me draw and uh, draw them for you so maybe you think about it in a better way. I'm trying to convince you to go back to Islam. You see, always I make Muslims leave Islam. But today I am uh, going to help you. Brother, look, this is a big boobs. And those are big nipples. They are nipples, not nipples. And look, look, they are like big. If I tell you how big, this is the, this is the size of a truck, uh, uh, you know, like a 16 tire truck. They are, and by the way, they have, those nipples are very long. Long nipples, you know, they are very long. MashaAllah. So you do not need to even to put your head down. You can start, you can like, it's like uh, what the things they call it, you know, you drink with it, uh, your, your juice. So they have like this thing coming out from their nipples. And brother, you put your mouth here and you start suckling. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Take selfie. What do you think? I mean, why you are leaving this religion? This is the Quran. Here we go. The verse in the front of us. I mean, what? Uh, we go. Uh. This God, he is talking about heaven. Suddenly, he jumped to talk about boobs. What the boobs have to do with this? I have no idea. You tell me. And the Muslim, they say to us, don't misquote. Read the verse before it, okay? The verse before it, there's garden. The verse after it, there's big boobs. The verse after it, there's full cup. What is the connection? So, let us make it clear. We have a garden, brother. Okay? This is the garden. So we have trees here. We have to be honest, brother. There's trees here, brother. Okay, there's trees. Trees, okay? And there's more trees here, brother. Okay, because we are in the garden, brother. In the garden. Okay. And Allah, and now there is a cup. What there is? There is a cup, brother. Okay, what, what the heck is that? There's a cup. Yes, brother. Okay. Here we go. This is the cup. So what is the connection between the cup? And the garden and the boobs, unless this is a pimp house. It's 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 obvious, isn't it? Oh, it's funny. It's funny. Thank you very much. So, my friend, as long as you are from Indonesia and you are you left Islam already and you agree with me. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior? Let us clean this dirt from the front of us because we don't want to talk about the Messiah, yet we are seeing this garbage in the front of us. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior? Well, I have to talk to my, you know, my family first and then you know, you, aren't you, aren't you, because, aren't you a grown man? Why you need to talk to your family? Why you need your family? Are your family they will convert first before you, or you convert as a man making decisions? No, uh, my family, my family, and my people. I mean, that's not my people. I mean, people around me are most of the, most of them is a, a Muslim. So. So. Yeah, are you going uh, okay you left Islam already so now I'm, I'm asking you why you don't accept the Messiah as your Savior I 
Yeah, I think yeah, I think I accepted them. You accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I mean to that. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you accept the Messiah that he is God in the flesh who came to this earth and he is the only Savior who will save you. You accept that the Messiah, he died in the cross and you accept that by him you will be only saved. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Wonderful, my friend. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God. For one soul, lost soul, is coming back to him. This is how much our Lord, our Savior, he loves you, my friend. So I'm so happy for you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. If there's anything you thank want to you say, for me. I'm, not, I'm not the one who convinced you, my friend. The Lord, he opened your eyes. I am just here as a brother speaking to you. I am no one. My name is nobody. You don't even know my name. You never met me. You never saw me. So don't thank me. Thank the Messiah, for he is our provider he is our guidance he is our truth it's not a christian prince i'm a sinner i'm nobody so you should be thankful only for one person his name is a glory his act is holy his word is a truthful and he do as he say that is the messiah yes sir now do you like to say anything in your language to the indonesian people Some word that I have to tell to anybody in Indonesia in my lang in Indonesian language. Okay. Um, just for a couple of seconds. Breathe. Take, um, take it easy. Take it easy. You know, I, I know you are stressed and you are uh, etc. But the Lord, He will, he, he will, He will give your tongue the wisdom to speak. He will give you the ability to refresh yourself. And to, he, he is the Comforter. He will be with you. So don't worry. Uh, yeah, uh, this message is for not only for a Muslim only. It's for atheist, Buddha, Hindu, and you know, non-Christian. Ya uh, kepada bapak bapak saudara, bapak bapak ibu ibu saudara sekalian yang dikasihi Tuhan Yesus. Coba bukalah hati Anda, pikiran Anda untuk mendengarkan Yesus uh, Kristus. So open your heart, open your mind to accept Jesus Christ. Please, the end of the world is near. Choose wisely. I didn't, I mean, saya tidak mem, mendorong Anda, mem, memaksa Anda, I'm, I don't forcing you uh, untuk masuk Kristen, to come, Christ, to, to become a Christian, but, tapi cobalah kalian pikir, uh, dunia ini semakin tua, a judgment day will come close real close at the end of the corner uh, choose your religion wisely thank you thank you my friend i'm happy for you may, yeah. Yeah. may the lord bless you may the yeah. lord bless indonesia may the lord open the eyes of the beloved indonesian we love them and the messiah he loved them and remember even in islam the name of the messiah is very special even islam teach that there is false the devil he will come and he will claim that he is the messiah he will not claim to be muhammad because muhammad is already satanic so the devil himself he will try to convince you that he is the messiah according to islam why because this is the only good name the devil will try to copy him according to islam for they this is the name can be convincing for his name is holy his act is good he is wonderful and he is a miracle that is the Messiah. And all this description, by the way, we can find him in Islam. Jesus is born as a miracle, which means he is himself, he is a miracle. 
Jesus himself, chapter 19, verse 19, is holy. He is holy. Even the hadith confirm that every human being commits sin except Jesus. He have no sin. Never. Musa have. Muhammad have. All of them, they have sin, but there is only one name. Even in the cult of Muhammad, which is a false, ugly, stupid cult, confirm that there is no name beside Jesus can be compared. So my friend, I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah and the God bless you. Thank you very much, Shifi. You're God welcome. bless you too. You're welcome. Let any Indonesian right. you know, they wanna, they wanna talk, let them call oh. me and I will be happy to help them. All right, thank In you. Including your family. I will. All right, thank you. God bless you. I try to do my best. All right. Take care. All right, thank you. Bye-bye, Steve. Bye-bye. Uh, you know the Muslims be like when 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 they call us to challenge us about Jesus, not only we laugh at their challenges, we laugh at their logic. Not because we want to insult, but their logic is silly. You remember the ones who say to me that show us King James, right? Show us so if we show you King James saying that he mean I am he, that's mean I am God. They will not accept. If it is existing King James, do you accept it? No. So what they are trying to prove? They are trying to prove nothing except their stupidity. This is King James translation. This is the same chapter. John 8, 24. I say therefore unto you that you shall die in your sin for if you believe not that I am he, <laughs> you shall die in your sin. He who? This is the English version. I am he, God. This is the German, uh, English, French, whatever. I you know, they are, this is a translation, but if you go in the Hebrew, it's going to be more clear. If you go in the Aramaic, it's going to be even, be even better. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think a couple of days ago, when you were talking about Monophy, you called me two days ago. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a Muslim? Excuse me. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? No, I'm an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay. So, what do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Uh, oh, I wanted to think because so for over a year, nearly a year now, I think I've left Islam. But I wanted to try a new religion, and I'm right now I'm seeing Christianity at the moment. Okay, but what? I just but, uh, I had what, a couple of questions. Yeah, what what make you leave Islam first? Why, ask you. Why, why why you left Islam? If you don't mind to tell us. What? Why you left Islam? What make you leave Islam? Uh well. Most of the violent verses, like killed and non-believers and all that. So how? Just really how you? Just, uh, how, okay. How you see Muhammad today? Like, do you see him as a false prophet? Do you agree as a false prophet? Uh, yeah. Okay. So what? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So he's a false prophet. According to you, that's wonderful. So what do you like? What do you like to say to me so I can help you, maybe? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, first question. Okay. In the Bible, yeah. Um, why in the Old Testament and don't take this as how what? I don't understand. Back, I'm sorry. I just I have no disrespectful. In the Bible, why in the Old Testament? Hmm. Why was there like so much death, so much violence in it? Hmm. This is the question. This is the question? Yeah. Okay. Well, you see, we are talking about people who live, what, thousand of years ago, right? We are in the year 2000. Yes. 2000, what, 20? 
and there's wars everywhere and killing still yeah. exists nothing changed a human being is savage so when we read the stories in the old testament the old testament is not only a book of about god it's about a book of history so history recorded there about things happening to those jews the jews they went in war and they they were fighting against their enemies the jews themselves they've been enslaved twice the whole nation have you ever heard of some, such a thing the whole nation enslaved so do you see how bad the situation at that time is every nation attack their neighbors and they enslave yes. all of them if they can so we are talking about a very very harsh time would everybody live by the sword so if we say to the jews okay jews don't hold your sword hold your candle hmm? when your enemy come to you fight them with the light of the candle that would be silly what do you think yeah. okay so you know violence is not the purpose the violence was happening because a human being is savage and until now nothing changed a human being is still savage so it, the savage, so it was like necessary it's not about necessarily so it, 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 it is no it is the man who made it necessarily it is the evil of man made yeah, it necessary that's, yeah that's what i was trying to say yeah but in the case of muhammad let us see you see there is there is there is there is do there is do kind of uh, violence there is somebody is fighting to kill to steal and there's somebody fighting for other reason your reason will defend will will will, will, uh, will give definition who you are do you agree with me Yes. So if some if somebody you try to get inside your house because he want to rape your wife and you kill the guy, is that make you a murderer? No, that's just no. you defending. But it's violence. We yes, have, we, 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 but we have to we have to agree. You kill the man, correct? Yeah. Okay. So 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 kill, killing there is killing and there is a murder. Muhammad is a murderer. He attacked just to get yes, uh, uh, get get the money of the neighbors. You know, even the Quran says in chapter nine, verse number twenty-eight, if you if you fear of a poverty, Allah will reach you from other sources. What is that sources? Attack the Christians and the Jews to get their money. So the war reason, the outside is like for religion purpose, but Muhammad he want their money. If you pay me jizya, you will live. Muhammad is a gang leader, is not a prophet. Okay, I understand. Thank, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, somebody texted me at, about the previous uh, caller. Uh, my friend, the person already he did read the Bible, and he said he did read the Bible many times. He, he, you know, he 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 studying the Bible. This is why he's calling. He's not ignorant about Jesus. And I find it very disturbing that the Christians, in, instead of encouraging somebody when I know Jesus, they do the opposite. Shame on you. Suddenly, every one of you will be judged and will throw rocks. Those who accept Jesus, it's not me who made them accept Jesus. If everyone actually call me and we go live on air to show you those who leave Islam, you will not believe it how many. So what you will do, each one of them, you start to question him. Who is he? What's wrong with people? You lost your decency. When somebody is a fraud, he think everyone is a fraud. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, go ahead. Go live on me. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, please mute you too. Uh, yeah, I was the one who was messaging you for... Um, I'm an ex-Muslim and I accepted Lord as my savior. That's wonderful. Okay. Do you, yeah, okay. I have a question. What, what, from, have what, a question. from which country you are from, my friend? I'm from India. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, actually, I have a question related to Islam. Like, I saw a.
Uh, we lost you. We lost you, my friend. No problem. Yes, my friend, go ahead. We lost you, go ahead. Oh, yeah, so my internet just disconnected, yeah. So it's, I was, it's all right. I just want to know, like, there's a surreal law book uh, I saw where you can have sex with little born babies, you know? With born baby? Yeah, newborn babies. There's a law in surreal book. I guess, can you show me that? Well, uh, there is many source about this. Uh, you can watch a video, it's about, about this topic, you can search for the title and you will see the Muslim reading it and explaining it. The video is all oh, over I the can't internet. Hear you well. I'm saying there's a video on YouTube, very famous, yeah. about doing that with the infant, just search for that, and you will find the Muslim who is a doctor explaining to us and reading the, reading the book about that. Okay, so can you show me like, can you show me some preferences so okay. I can take notes? No problem, here we go, let us see, I'll show you, let me open it. <clears throat> Alright, I will put it in the screen, so you can read it. It's in Arabic, and I will post the link. Uh, I, I think I have to post shorted link, shorting link by Google. Okay. I will post shorting links, uh, Google short. I will hang up on you, my friend, and you can and you can see the screen with me, okay? Because, yeah, yeah. because your I'm, voice. I'm looking at your screen. Okay. Your screen. I'm looking at your okay. screen right now. Because you have a bad noise, and I don't right. want this noise to be in in the in the live broadcast. So I'm going to hang up on you, and I will post the link okay. in the chat. You can open it, and you can use Google Translation. All right. Okay. And uh, to because uh, it's in Arabic, but we will give you an official Shi Shia Islamic website for the link. Right. I will post it already. Here we go. I'm posting the link. All right. Guys, tell me, does it work, the link, if you open it? Is the link working? So, yeah, yeah, I saw on the link. Right. Uh, after the, go, uh, can you show me, like, uh, there's a, a Quranic verse about Muhammad who is, I guess, sleeping with her, who married a cop, who is like, Christian, you know? Well, slave. the Quran does not have a verse saying he was sleeping the, directly with no, the... No, I know, I, I know, but... There is an apology thing, like I saw Sabir Ali was committing that uh, Muhammad was sitting around and eating milk and honey, then he got the revelation. Yeah, and yeah. there's a, another hadith. All right, you know, we, we, we don't want to mix had, things, maybe maybe in, dif in different right. time. Okay, we don't want to mix many things, but I, I will answer you about this. I will hang up on you and we will okay. talk about it, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to exit Skype because I have enough headache for today. I apologize. Uh. All right, that's enough for today. This is the book of Tahrir al Wasila. This is a Shia book written by Al Imam Al Khomeini. All of you, you know the Imam Al Khomeini. He is the founder of the Islamic State of Iran, which we have today, and he is the highest mullah for the Shia in the world. In his lifetime at least in his book is saying the book of Tahrir al wasila volume number two page number 241 it's not allowed to do intercourse with wife before the age of nine regardless if this is was Sex of continue or uh, like discontinue, which means every day or from time to time. And then he said, but yes, you cannot have intercourse, but you can do the following. 
وأما سائر الاستمتاعات كاللمس بشهوة والضم والتفخيذ فلا بأس بها حتى في الرضيع But all kind of sexual entertainment or enjoyment with by touch with desire or hugs with desire or putting your private part between her thigh it's okay even if it is an infant even if it is an infant and I gave you the link you can use Google translation here we go this is an official uh, library of the Shia and I think it is sponsored by the highest mullahs of Iran online Shia library and by the way this library does not only have uh, Shia books it has Sunni books too it's a library all right so it says Shia library but doesn't mean that the books there all of them they are Shia it have all all books all right yeah and you can you can search in, in YouTube about a video of me debating a guy about the same topic about doing it with infant just I'm, I'm not going to say the word search the title and you will find it and he was saying yeah so what what the problem Allah he says so so what Allah says so so what the problem what the difference between the Shia and the Sunni? There is no difference except that the Shia, uh, it's like it's two faces of one coin. Both of them, they are violence. Both of them, they worship uh, uh, and follow fairy tale stories. But they have different resources of books. And the Shia, they are more into worshipping Muhammad and his family. Actually, worshipping his family is more important than Muhammad himself. And the Shia, they believe uh, that Muhammad and his family, they are created from the lights of Allah. They are not, yes, they have a human flesh, but they are light. They are not a human like us. And they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah. And everything is a created, is a created by their light. However, the Sunni, they have the same thing, the same garbage. Uh, let me find you the hadith of the Sunni. To show you it's very similar but the difference between them is a huge in the same time both of them they worship muhammad at the end of the day let us see all right i will give you this link and I, I hope that you guys you will save it because this is an important link to show you how the Muslims worship Muhammad. Yet they claim that he is a prophet. Both of them they claim that he is a prophet. But look at the words and you will see clearly that Muhammad is the God. It is not Allah. A person is asking question. No, I just said they are the same. Shia or Sunni. When Shia are the majority, they kill the, 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 the Christians. When Sunni are the majority, they kill the Christian. Doesn't matter. What is the uh, respect of ulama of the religion of sh uh, uh, Sharia? This is this is Sunni. About the Hadith of Lawlaka. What Lawlaka? Let us read the Hadith. It says, Allah He said to the Prophet Muhammad, the reason for creation. It's you. Let us read the hadith. The answer of the scholar is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa which means Allah pray on him and salute him, is the reason for the creation of Adam, uh, peace on him, and the universe. If the Prophet of Allah was not in existence, then the throne of Allah, the Arsh, the chair of Allah, the board of Allah, the pen of Allah, the sky of Allah, the earth of Allah, the heaven and the hell of Allah, the trees and the stones, they were not created, they will not exist. Do you see it? But if you think carefully, Allah himself is exist just for the sake of Muhammad. Allah will not have a throne if there is Muhammad. There is no Muhammad. 
Why Allah have a throne? For Muhammad. Why Allah have a chair? For Muhammad. Why Allah have a pen? Allah have a pen, by the way. For Muhammad. Why Allah have a tablet? For Muhammad. Why he have a sky? For Muhammad. The earth? Muhammad. You ask me and you, Muhammad. Allah, he was thinking, okay, what I will create for Muhammad? First, I will create a chair for myself because Muhammad, he liked me only with the chair. And then after he made the chair, according to the hadith, different one, Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad all over the chair. So look at this madness. Allah, he went to the workshop, he made the chair, and then he started writing, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad al-Azulallah, all over the chair. Different hadith. And you see the Muslims agree. The scholar, those this is a this is a scholar website. This is a Muslim Sunni scholar's website. This is not a Shia website. This is why the, the, the website uh, uh, address is sunnah.org. This is not Shia, this is Sunnah. So Sunnah and Shia both they have the same madness. Look at this. In the book of Al Hakim and his Mustadrak, okay, he said. The Prophet of Allah said, Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. My friend, KJ, I answered you, there's no better. It's the same madness. Both of them, they, 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 they've been taught to fight the Christians and kill them. He keeps saying, which one is better? How many times I need to repeat? Both of them believe in chapter 9, verse number 29. Go and fight and kill the Christians. And you're asking me which one is better? Better in what? So, Allah said when Adam, he made a mistake, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Look, but Allah, he was surprised. He's like, what? Allah said, Oh Adam, how you know? How you do recognize Muhammad when I did not have yet him uh, yet created him? Look at this story. Brother, Prophet Muhammad is not created yet. Yet Adam, he said to Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. So Allah is saying, like, what the heck? How you know about Muhammad, man? I did not create him yet. So Adam said to him, when you created me and you blew into me my spirit, I lifted my head and I saw written on the chair, the arsh, the throne, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Huh? So when Allah created Adam, Adam he looked up and he saw in the chair the name of Muhammad. So Adam is smart. He understands that this guy Muhammad must be very important for Allah. Otherwise, why he would write his name all over like crazy man? So I got to know that you would only join your name. Look at this. Join your name. Muslims are mushrikeen, kuffar. They are mushrikeen. They associate the name of God, their God, with the name of a man. Join your name with him. Who is most beloved to you? Allah said. Allah was like impressed. He said, Oh Adam. Oh Adam. <laughs> you, have, you have spoken the truth, Adam. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Muhammad is more beloved to me from anything. <laughs> this, 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 this God, he is obsessed with Muhammad. That's it. There's nothing important in the world. That Muhammad, that's it. I mean, Muhammad, hello? Are you kidding me? This is Muhammad. Alayhi salam. Allahumma salam. Millions will kill for him. Muhammad. This is why Allah, he made verses for the penis of Muhammad. For the testicles of Muhammad. What do you want more? And he said, Indeed, Muhammad is more beloved to me than anything and when you ask me for his sake, I burden you. If, if, if. Okay, let me ask Allah to burden me. Allah burden me for the sake of Muhammad testicles. As long as you love everything about Muhammad, I'm sure you like his testicles. What a garbage religion. 
and you read the rest of the stories here is the same madness not only that actually even Isa himself Isa Isa is supported Jesus this is Isa how Isa come don't ask me Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa salam Allah peace on him he said oh Isa I have Isa have faith have faith in Muhammad and order your nation to do the same oh, oh. Even Isa, he been ordered to follow Muhammad. Muhammad wasn't exist here. But Allah told him, you have to follow Muhammad. If Muhammad was not to exist, I would not create Adam, nor I would have made the heaven or the hell. So for sure, Isa, he said to him, yeah, exactly. I mean, although everything was created for one reason, Muhammad. I mean, I have a rabbit right now walking in my yard. Why is it exist for Muhammad? Hey, rabbit, how are you? Honestly, I have a rabbit in the yard. What are you doing there, man? Good. Look at this rabbit looking at me. And he is moving his lips. I think he's saying Shahada. Allahu Akbar. Trust me, in the madness of his time, you will see everything. A goat saying Shahada. A dog, a dog reaction for takbir. A cow reaction for takbir. Uh, the most funny ones is a Catholic reaction for Quran. They, they make it Catholic because they, they, they consider Catholic the enemy of Islam. Maybe many of you do not know. You see, I'm a Christian. I'm not a Catholic. You know, I mean, when I say I'm a Christian, I'm not a Catholic as sect. But all of us are Christian. Catholic, Protestant, all of us are Christian. But the Muslim consider the Catholic is number one enemy to Allah. For they are the one who fought really against the cult of Islam in the time of the crusade. They are obsessed with the madman Muhammad. All those hadith, I send you the link, I'm not going to read them all. And you will see how they are trying to convince you that everything in this world is made for the sake of Muhammad. Muhammad the fraud, the child molester. Yeah, a cat cannot step in the Quran. True story, brother. It happened. I saw it with my own eyes. A cat cannot step in the Quran, but a Christian prince can because he's not a cat. How we live with the madness and stupidity? Oh Lord, help us! Can Christian prince step in the Quran? He can, but the cat cannot. So Allah, He stopped the cat, but He didn't stop Christian prince. I mean, hello. Hello. And then you remember David Woody made a video which is funny about the cat stepping all over the Quran. So what they do, this is how fraud they are. They fabricate videos saying things just to make you believe in this garbage. Again, <clears throat> you see, uh, about people who leave Islam, uh, if somebody he call, let us say somebody call and he is not being truthful, regardless who is he. It's not me who can judge. I can examine the person, but I do not know who is calling me. People can be truthful, people can be liars, people they can be whatever they want, this is their business. This is their business. I don't know who is talking to me. They are not even from my country. None of you, even the Christians, know me. So what are you talking about? People are free to express themselves. However, we appreciate always honest people. And God is watching. The one who lie, he lied to himself. He don't lie to us. The one who tell the truth, he is truthful himself, not to us. Because none of this affect me. I am here to educate the Christians, regardless who is talking, who is calling. This is the benefit of we being here that we join in a time and when we leave we have more than a thousand uh, like in certain point one thousand four four hundred watching all those people they are learning who is talking is not important it's important who and what uh, uh, we're talking about we're talking about god we're talking about the truth we are showing it proving it and what we learn is what is important so i want to say uh, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate having all of you. We appreciate all those 
who subscribe and they invite their friends uh, we appreciate those people who support us in donation too but remember please if you see people who they are around you in your country in your neighborhood poor old people who need help corona is affecting them badly please don't forget to help those people they need your help you can help them by visiting them not necessarily only by money so always be christian always help those who need help always don't be selfish uh, especially all people because all people they are terrified to go out because of this virus so if you know really someone is old you don't have a family to take care of him please i encourage you to visit them and do anything you can do for those people consider that person is your mother or your father because they are jesus says i was angry and you feeded me thirsty and you gave me water a prisoner and you visited me so those things you do what you are doing to jesus those people are jesus on earth when you do your merciful act you are doing it because simply you are doing it to Christ. And those who love them, the Messiah, he loved them. This is why me, myself, I have a special feeling for the old ones. I respect them a lot. Wherever I see them, I wish I can help anyone who is an old person. And this is the proof of the good God. For God, he's soft in our heart. You see, me as an Arab, we are tough. We are we really, we have a lot of ugly culture make us very tough people we have a very ugly behavior sometimes yet the lord the god the good god he softened the heart of a human being even the one who have a heart of a rock when he see an old man and old women he do help so what about we follow the messiah who is everything about him is about softening the heart of a man love your enemy not only an old person so if we cannot practice the love of the Lord in the time which is needed most, we are going to practice it when? When nobody needed? So please help them, be with them, and be thankful for the Lord, for what you do to them, one day will be doing to you. One day you will become old too. All of us, we will become old. Many of us maybe will not be able to walk from the bed to the bathroom. And you think, if you think never this will never happen, well, look around you. All those who you see them all, they used to be in your age one day. Love them, help them, support them, and may the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I hope to see you soon again tomorrow in the same time as today, maybe. Until then, see you, thank you, and God bless you, and thank you for the support, all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.